age. Like I started drugs around that age as well. Like I was kind of a, like a nerdier kid. I was like really shy. Yeah, like, me growing too. Up, you at know? first, so like <laughs> I had so, like no friends. Yeah, so like drugs was a way for me to like kind of get on my show a that's, little bit. That's like what it was you for know? me because like I always had like bad anxiety and like I never really like kind of like fit anywhere, you know, with like a mm-hmm. certain type of people or whatever. And like once I started doing drugs, it like. You know, got it opens you up. Yeah, yeah man. it's like and you're like, not afraid to talk to the chick anymore. You're not afraid nothing. to talk to the jock anymore. You're, you're just, just fucking you're not afraid of being yourself in for there. once. Yeah, yeah. That's literally what it was. And that's it's like probably you, what started it. For you don't me. even get addicted to the drugs. You get addicted to the feeling of finding, like, being able to be comfortable in front of these people that you felt like you couldn't be yourself around. Yeah, it dude. For, and we're live. live for his podcast of 2024 with my two favorite white boys since the hardy bros <laughs> right. jake, Rob- jake robbins and josh johnson thanks for being here with me guys yeah, i really appreciate you us, yeah. man i'm excited i got so many things i want to pick at your guys' brain about um jake you've overcome like a lot of things in your life brother there's the biggest demons i feel like most americans have is the food demon it's an eating one but we also have a lot of drug addicts as well in this mm-hmm. life um that's a that is a fact for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, <laughs> people are, people are addicted to eating, they're addicted to doing drugs. Yeah. Like you used to be, I've seen like pictures of you, you used to be like very overweight, you used to be a very heavy like drug abuser, and now you're a founder of a very successful record label, artist manager, or a very f- successful like EDM producer here, man. So like I just want to really know how did you get over some of these like demons that people We'll lose that everyday battle too for the yeah. rest of their life. Dude, it, it was not easy, that's for sure. I mean, like, when I think about it, you know, it wasn't like I was ever just addicted to one thing. Like it all started, you know, probably when I was like seventeen or eighteen, I started fucking around with drugs. Yeah. And like same. I kind of just bounced out. Like when I was eighteen, I got kicked out of my house. Um, I was like living in my like car during like the winter in Minnesota because I was addicted to Xanax. I was like stealing from my family. How did it like and, start like, for you if you don't mind me? Like, cause you, you know? said when you start drugs at that age, like I started drugs around that age as well. Like I was kind of a, like a nerdier kid. I was like really shy. Yeah, like, me growing too. Up, at you know? first. So, like, <laughs> I had so, like no friends. Yeah. So like drugs was a way for me to like kind of get on my show a that's, little bit. That's like what it was you for know? me because like I always had like bad anxiety and like I never really like kind of like fit anywhere you know with like a mm-hmm. certain type of people or whatever and like once i started doing drugs it like you know got it opens you up yeah, yeah man. it's like and you're like, not afraid to talk to the chick anymore you're not afraid nothing. to talk to the jock anymore you're, you're just, just fucking you're not afraid of being yourself in for there. once yeah yeah that's literally what it was and that's it's like probably you, what started it you don't me. even get addicted to the drugs you get addicted to the feeling of fighting like being able to be comfortable in front of these people that you feel like you couldn't be yourself around yeah, at dude, first, dude. But the problem like is Molly, you can't dude. do that. <laughs> Molly. Yeah. When I when I first did Molly, it was my first show. And like, dude, I just remember like I was talking to everybody like fucking strangers and shit. And like, it just makes you feel good, like invincible. Yeah. You know what I mean? It does. Like, But like, <laughs> yeah, it kind of just started one because I was like depressed. So like... I started smoking weed, started drinking and shit, started having a problem with drinking. Then I would try other shit at like a party, like Xanax or fucking cocaine or, you know, basically everything besides, uh, I've never like smoked meth, but that's it. Like I've done everything else. (laughs) Literally. Yeah. I, that's the one, like the worst thing I've ever done was meth like one time and fuck dude, I can't, that's the one I'm like really embarrassed about. Like I'm embarrassed of all the drugs that I've done, you know, and that's one of the only like regrets that I have in life. It's like just the way I abuse my body on my brain. Fuck. We only get one of those. Sometimes I think about like, man, I'd be so much smarter. (laughs) I I probably would be. I was always kind of an error. I'd be so much better at math, dude. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fact. (laughs) If I wasn't like snorting two CB and all this other weird shit. All Been these, there, not the two CB, but like, dude, I used to do fucking is wild, <laughs> like acid and like shit like that, or like uh, ecstasy a lot, like in high school. That was kind of like my first like party drug. I took yeah. a dude back in the day. They had like these fucking uh, what are they called? Like acid based or like rolls, and yeah. it was like 
it would like fall apart because it's like wet. Right. I remember that was like the first ecstasy pill I took and it was fucking nuts because you get like visuals like you're tripping and you're like rolling at the same time. Those yeah. low key were my favorite. Yeah, it was, <laughs> they were fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like when you think about your back in your life, like do you regret any of it? Like I say I don't regret doing drugs because it helped me become the man that I am today. But I do wish that i didn't one go as hard during my party time and i feel like it lasted a little bit too long yeah like I mean, there was a little bit dude i felt like getting like i had, i got in some trouble and i had to go to treatment um and if i would like to hear if that ever happened to you and like your situation if you had to went through a treatment center like any legal issues at all with it but i remember my first time going to treatment i was like yeah i can't fucking even quit smoking weed it just felt impossible to me at the time yeah like i couldn't believe how people do it yeah, bro. I mean, I never went to like treatment, but I mean, I got three DWIs. Like, it sure. took a lot to like get me to the <laughs> yeah. point where I was like, okay, maybe I should. So you, do you this did anymore. a little bit of time then, for yeah. sure, for your drinking. Yeah, I mean, like that, and like I would just, dude, when I would drink, I would just black out and like end up like, dude, the one time uh, at Skyway, I kept bumping into my friend's girlfriend, and like her drink was spilling, and then we got in an argument. I left Skyway. And I blacked out, passed out in some random dude's car. And then when they came <laughs> to like their car, I was probably like, oh, this is my car. And they just beat the piss out of me. Really? Like, yeah, literally, like left me there bloody. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I used to fucking black out and it was not good, bro. No. Get into trouble. Not. And I wouldn't even know what happened because I'd be blacked out. Yeah. Isn't that scary? Yeah. Like you would wake up, you'd have no idea what you fucking did or what happened to you. It's fucking all. not good. Dude, like. I'm surprised I'm not dead for sure. I've actually yeah. never blacked out before. Not, not once. I don't know. Yeah. That's one thing that I've always been terrified of. And I've just like, I always, uh, cause I've done a bunch of drugs and you know, in my life, but I've never blacked out, but I've never like, I've always had control on like not getting to that point, but I have like, yeah, you know, good I, for you. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I guess like, you know, I have had like other issues with it. Like I have like, uh, you know, gotten trouble with the law, had to go to treatment and stuff like that. And like, you know, and even when I was in treatment, I'm like, man, I'm not even like addicted because I kind of felt like I really wasn't. And I actually wasn't because like the drugs that I was doing when I went to treatment, I just stopped doing. You know what I mean? I don't really. Uh, Were you forced to go to treatment, though? Yeah, legally. Yep, yeah, I legally had to. So that it was just like, outpatient. I'll but be like, honest. I smoked weed the fucking day I got out of treatment. Bro. <laughs> I like, God. <laughs> but that's because I was that that's like that's most people, though. Like when you for, when you force someone to go through it, they don't actually want to change. No, but yeah, like I was kind of at a point. It's like, I got to do this. Show. I'm going to fucking jail. Yep, no, you know, that's yeah. when you got that hanging over your head. It's like, OK, I'll get, get sober. Yeah, but then once you get through it, it's like, fuck, dude, I'm packing a ball to celebrate now. Well, you know? that that's how it works with everything it's like whether whether you need to like stop drinking doing drugs or like just uh have healthy habits or like just work on yourself to like your business or whatever you want it's not like no one's gonna force you to do it because if they force you to do it it's not gonna come from the heart and you're not gonna be successful the only way that like it, you're gonna be successful if it is when you fucking want to do it yeah. like that's what yeah, it is that you gotta have that come from like within and it's like that like even with like for me with like making music like i've always wanted to do it and blah 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 and like it wasn't until like until I was doing it for like six, seven, eight years until when I was like, then like the passion really came and like, yeah. holy shit, I can actually do this. And like it came from right. within, like, you know, something like that. And it's like I feel like that it's like across the board with everything. Change has to drugs, come from within. Literally, no matter like, what. You can't force someone to do it. It's just not it's like work. like dude talking like for me, like people told me like, yo, you know, my mom and like family and shit like quit drinking for like the longest time. And like. It wasn't until it finally like clicked in my head where it actually fucking happened. Yep. Yeah. Because like you can tell somebody something like so much. So like, yeah. You gotta find. <laughs> they'll never shit. be ready. Like you can tell them the same thing a thousand times, and like they they won't be ready to hear it till the that day that yeah. they're ready. Yep. Like you said, something like clicks, clicks perfectly. Dude, it's yeah. so fucking weird because like especially like with me for drinking, like it took a long time. Like dude, I my I I got to the point where like I'd be puking blood, bro. And yeah. So like. You know, you would think you'd be like, damn, I should quit, but not even that. But like, <laughs> right. like you, you can get locked in. It's yeah. fucking scary. It makes you almost keep going. It's like, oh, fuck, I'm never drinking again. The next weekend, you're just back at yeah, it. Yeah, like, that was, bro, that was me for like five years, yeah. literally. No, I, well, I, yeah, I lived you through the attest. whole thing. I, I was there for the whole thing. I mean, well, dude, and it was it like, was he, Jake was basically a very, very good alcoholic because it's like, we, I, I, like, I knew he had a problem and it was more like, 
I didn't know that he had a problem like with drinking like too. I, I knew he had a problem with drinking like too much that time. You know what I yeah. mean? Like so, it'd be a Friday that's night, we'd go out, he would drink I like that too. much. <laughs> he would just he would just like you know drink too much and like maybe black out or something. But I didn't realize until like for a while that it was like that would happen all the time, every time. Like that, like mm-hmm. it's a problem. It's like you know it's I mean? blackout, like, yeah. blackout or nothing. Yeah, like, were you like, an yeah. everyday drinker? Or were you a weekend no, warrior? See, One of the, the lessons I learned from like uh, this, my treatment counselor, he was like, "If you only drink on Saturday night, but Monday through Friday, you're just that's all you're fucking thinking about. Like you're going it's there the doing your day problem. job, like, and you're just you're living for you're the weekend warrior. That's what you're living for. It's like you're an addict. Yep. Yeah, doesn't matter if you're doing much. it every day or not. Yeah, like, because like I never really like saw it as a problem, right? So I never stopped, but like. You know, even when I quit, it's like I had like physical like withdrawal symptoms and shit. And like, that's kind of how I was like, it all started like, you know, playing shows all the time. Like you're just drinking to have fun in that environment, too. Yeah. Yeah. And it just kind of slowly turned into that pretty much wild yeah, yeah i'm impressed that you're even able to go to like as many shows as you are nowadays like yeah. be able like not get triggered i mean i all. wasn't at first like it took a long time we were just talking about this yep. uh like i quit drinking and then i pretty much didn't go to shows for like almost a whole year and then mm-hmm. one day it was new year's me josh and teddy played and i was i looked at josh and i was like yo like i don't like because i get bad anxiety and i, I was Ooh. like yo like i don't fucking feel like that <laughs> yeah. i was so hyped like it took like fucking like almost a whole year i i didn't do anything man like i literally sat at home went to the gym like did music shit that's pretty much yeah. it is that when you kind of started your weight loss journey there yeah. too because i'm always impressed by that like i used to be overweight and i always i love the saying like if you look good you feel good and that's why i was like giving you so much kudos at the beginning to not only like beat your drug addiction but like food is like probably the even just as worth like, addiction so before, dude. Like, with all fucking fat people are dude nowadays dude like it's bad yeah <laughs> it's fucking bad dude it's it's crazy because like even when you think about like what it's like the the average american is like overweight divorced and has less than a thousand dollars in the bank account you know what i mean so it's like that's the whole dude, america the like, that's, free, that's, the that's just what it I'll is say this we're like in the extreme <laughs> in both ends like we have the fattest motherfuckers but we also got like the most jacked people yeah. too we just we go to the extreme in both yeah dude it's because of the bro the food like they put so much sugar and like addictive shit in food like that's well it's yeah it doesn't help it's, yeah. <laughs> you know it's, what i mean yeah. like what was your he- heaviest if you don't mind being asked it was like 320 something yeah yeah that's up there dude yeah. you're a big boy yeah bro. <laughs> yeah dude like i think oh, about dude, like, like i look like, at what do you pictures weigh now? uh i weigh like 230 something dude. i got down to yeah, 200 like, like 100 like, fucking pounds yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like and i look back at pictures and i'm like holy fuck <laughs> like was i really that big like because yeah. i because you know what i mean like you don't like ever think you're that like i didn't ever really know yeah, well like, once you get to that big you feel like losing weight's impossible yeah right like because that's like that's when you're talking about like okay this is gonna take me over a year yeah i mean of, bro. like doing shit every day dieting right working out exercising like if you asked me like five years ago if i would ever be like as far as like health and like everything where i am right now i would have fucking laughed at you and probably took a shot or something yeah. you know what i mean like <laughs> literally it, yeah. it, it, they definitely came a long way and like a lot of it it all it was like everything playing into each other like i started mm-hmm. at ups and that like helped me lose weight plus i for quit sure. drinking were you loading the uh semi trailers no I, I did that for seven years oh, at damn. the egan hub damn i didn't know that yeah <laughs> no i i uh i started as a driver i tried to okay. get in like, as that part-time but like i just couldn't yeah. afford it so yeah, I need to have the full. It pays yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. It paid shit back Dude, then. Dude, they ripped it's a people shit job. Off, Dude, I, it was one of my first jobs out of high school. I made like seven fifty an hour. Damn. Dude. Like I mean, that day. was then. Why? I mean, I mean I'm 32 lot. now, so yeah. it was like 14 years ago. <laughs> it's only went up a dollar yeah. since. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, and you got like yearly raises and shit. Like by the time I quit, I was up to like 1250. But still... I remember I was like, dude, I'm fucking up to 1250 an hour. I was like, Bro, they still don't pay people shit, shit for that. No, like no, it's no. like I think it's like 16, which isn't shit. Now it's not really like, livable. Yeah. No, no, like but they really... get you with the benefits. And I don't know if they help pay True. for kids, college tuition. They were yeah, doing they do. that they back when really I was doing, benefits, but yeah. I wasn't going to school. So I never, 
I never got. I was going there for the shitty minimum wage, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's pretty much. Still yeah, like that. and it's fucking, <laughs> they can't keep good people because they don't pay them nothing. No, and that's yeah. No, that's just kind of what it is. Then it's a shit job because like, since, I mean, I work for FedEx like during the day. And yeah, are you driving? Like, yeah, I drive. And then those are tough fucking jobs. Dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, not, are it, you worried about your body at all? That was one of the main reasons. Josh I, fucking runs. Yeah, I run. <laughs> yeah, I run to every. What about stop. in twenty years? <laughs> You're gonna be doing that in twenty years, though, dude. Walking no. up and down those steps, I'm, dude. I'm still like. Like, I'm kind I would of, see guys that worked at UPS their whole life, dude, and hear about these surgeries they have to get, dude. That was one of the main like driving factors of why I decided to leave that place. Like you're just just walking up and down those stairs, getting out of the truck, dude. Do that for 20 years, you can blow your fucking knees out. Oh, dude, oh, big time. I, I like, actually it wasn't time. too long ago I fucked up my knee, but that was from it was a mix between FedEx and like I was running more because like I started mm-hmm. running again and I definitely um I didn't take it easy. I started my like first day running. I'm like, all right. And then I went and I, I did like three miles. And then the second day I did like four miles. Then I did six the third day. And then I Jesus. did that for like, <laughs> yeah. And then I did six miles like What's every day. What's the most you've ever done? Like it, at once. Like at, did... at once. It, it was only, it's only been like eight miles. Okay. I got yeah. you. The most I ever did was 10. Yeah. yeah. I had to one up you. Yeah. Oh, I got you. I I don't run anymore <laughs> now. Fuck. If I did like a mile now, I'd probably be gas. Well, like my, my knee still like messed up from it. Cause this was like recent. Um, and it's still like, it's still kind of messed up, but right now I still do like at least oh, six days a week. I do at least a 5k. So I do like three okay. miles, no, like, that's really good. like six days a week. And then, well, like, I mean, I'm in the gym six days a week. Normally I wouldn't, I got a gym membership just cause it was too cold and I was sick of running outside yeah so yeah but now so i'm there oh you're not one of those guys running outside below zero no i mean like i i probably those would people be, but... annoy me it's like what are you doing dude it's like what are you trying to prove honestly well, and like, i'm convinced that shit's not good for your lungs dude. I, I it mean, can't be well, breathing like, in that really cold dry air it's probably that not but, good but like you. plenty of people like plenty of people do it though like i mean i might have still like done it i still go outside and like and walk like every day like after every meal like i go and i and i walk like 10 minutes so like i go even when it's like really fucking cold like i just did before i came here um and it's just uh like i don't know i i wear like a, a face mask or yeah. like a, one of those things that like really and it, it kind of seems to like warm the air a little bit so it's not like too bad but i'm not breathing heavy either i'm just walking because right. it's just it's just to like digest food you know what i mean because like i run at work so i do run outside all day because i run to every single stop at fedex because uh like, what, are you like their number one fucking delivery? I, I am like, like, I'm, yeah. like, <laughs> like, like, like Jake, Jake like, went with dude, me. He, he works for like four hours and does yeah. like twice as much work. As yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like the people who normally like, well, they'll do my route when I'm not working. It takes them like, you know, eight to 10 hours and yeah. I get mine done in like three. Or <laughs> yeah, but I've been doing it for a while. And it's do you like, make the same. Yeah, because like uh, I don't get paid per hour or, you know, I get paid per stop and per package. And then okay. so it's like the fast technically the faster I go, the more I get paid. Well, it's like I get paid the same amount uh, regardless, like for how many stops I have. So I just get it done as quickly as I can so I can go home and work on thread and, and work- make music. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like everything else I need to do. Like, well, that and it's like if I'm in the gym for like two hours every fucking day, then like it's nice to have that extra time because, you know takes up a lot of time yeah, it does. <laughs> and like doing all that yeah, but if i like, get caught running at work I, they would, see, they would yeah. literally like fire me they encourage it at fedex yeah. they say fa- <laughs> they say fast on fleet or fast on feet not on fleet so don't drive fast but move fast and okay. it's like yeah drift so like, in the fucking fed yeah i don't know i've always been more of a ups guy dude what oh, can UPS brown do for better. you honestly like <laughs> yeah it's if if especially if like you want to like actually be a career or a decent job with decent benefits go with you yeah it it is a good job. Like, They'll destroy you wrong. on hours, but you like know. best pay. Yeah, they, you get fucked kind of until like you've been there for a few years because it's all like seniority. Yeah. But like it's the best pay for like the easiest yep. job I've it's, ever had. Yeah, and yeah insurance is and fucking those guys nuts. make good money. It's a very like comfortable yeah, lifestyle. It, it really, for sure. it really is. Yeah, if you're gonna go and deliver packages or you think it's actually a good job, it just sucks in the winter, like right now. When it's, you know, yeah, when you're trying to grind on music, yeah, like, it's like whew. UPS isn't my favorite thing. To That's do, true, too. You, know? is that you don't have the time. But like, I am, it is nice. I am very, com- I'm so confident that this is my last winter delivering for FedEx. Hey, like, make it. I, make this it is, the, I am very confident. And then it's going like, to be all music. Then it's going to be like, whole, like ba- the what, ball of string. That's what it's yeah. literally yeah. What, yeah. What, Jake, what Jake was saying, like, just not that long ago, like, it was like a month ago. And then he was saying, he's like, he's like, what I'm guessing for 2024 is that towards the end of it you're just going to start you're just going to basically go on tour and you're never going to stop and probably and it was like 
three weeks, maybe a month later after he said that, all of a sudden we just got like so many uh, shows. I mean, up, he's like, got like half the year in shows already. Yeah, like, it's up. yeah, and we haven't like we haven't really announced him yet, but I'm going like all so many new states I've been to that I haven't been to. I'm just like it's gonna be fucking cool, and it's right. like so that you know it just made me confident on like what we're doing. And like, because I I imagine like my whole thing is that I'm going to quit FedEx when I have to, not when I can. So it's like if Thread makes me enough money, like I'm still going to stay there just for like extra money that I can dump into like other shit, like my house. For sure. Well, shit's just so expensive nowadays, too. Like like, what I was thinking about, I was talking about this with my buddy, actually, because like we were playing some games. He was like, he's like, one, he's like, if you, he's like, would you ever quit? You know, if like your YouTube or pod blew up, I was like, dude, I don't know, like. See if I made fifty thousand a year doing this, like that's not enough. Oh yeah. Nope. Yeah. You know and, but like I think about like fifty thousand, like, okay, that's a lot of fucking money for like doing shit like this, talking with my friends and like as a passive income. But like to only do that, that's like nowadays that ain't shit. That's like twenty five bucks an hour. <laughs> yeah, it takes and, like, a lot to get to that point. Yeah. yeah. Which like it sucks like twenty five an hour is like it used to feel like a lot of money, but now it doesn't just of inflation. I know, dude, like so 10 years ago, expensive. if you're making that, you'd be fucking rich. Yeah. Yeah. Like now, but nowadays, now it's barely that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, dude, being a teenager, like, fuck, dude, if I could make 50, 60 K a year. Hell like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You'd be like, now it's like, yeah. that's like nothing. Yeah. Like it for, seems ridiculous. It is. It is ridiculous. No. And it's, and it's crazy. That's why like, I would like for you too. like, I would stay with that concept that like you quit your day job when you have to, not when you can. Right. Because then, like, because you know, when it becomes to where, like, I literally don't have the time. You know what I mean? Like, it's where I, it's like I'm struggling to finish everything for you know my podcast, and like, so I just need to cut that out. But it's like, and then you can finally sustain it. You just you just take that leap, and then you might as well take that that leap when it's like most comfortable. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. like, obviously, you want to like you got some momentum. I feel like you guys got a lot of momentum right, right now, now. It's like, and it's you guys really, are a great yeah. team too, by the way. Like, we, I've seen like you guys oh. like everything you've done like the past like few years like when when i first met you and then when you guys like linked up and started collabing together like i've seen like the steady growth dude and like it's, it's really impressive dude like me it really shows like what's possible when you just like go heads down on something for a while we, anything bro we have like, a anything that's it, literally possible. anything and it's like I and it's because it's not even it's just like me and jake too like the rest of our team is so good like and i even i said this in our like group chat just yesterday that like you know, uh, Mason Colossal, he from Canada, he likes just sent some shit that like, oh, this like posted super well. He got like 75,000 views on like just some really did. And I was like, fuck yeah. And like even it wasn't even that, but it was like hearing his music and then like the other music from some of the other artists. And it's like it's it inspires me to be better. You know what I mean? And yeah. I hope that I do the same Fucking for them, which I, I imagine is like, <laughs> yeah. and it's great because that's what helps is that like we all like feed off of each other. So then it's just like having having the team is uh is definitely like you need to for everything it's like, like you just, one of the you, most crucial you things. gotta have a like, team like you, there's no everybody way plays like an essential role in everybody's success so yep. like if everybody if you got a team of people that like you know you can collaborate effortlessly like it's just gonna make the whole process like twice as fast well that and like people that you trust too so then mm-hmm. it's like you know you trust them to do that job do the job yeah. that they need to do and get it done like so it's like this translates not even just from like our how we're in the music industry how like anything like whether it's podcasts or you're trying to sell fucking clothes or a restaurant like it doesn't like you know starting a gym like all of them it's the same thing like you got to have a team of people that you can trust and that you can count on because if you don't got that then it's like you just got to find new ones because it's right. like you can't you can't do it on speaking of finding new ones in as high caliber had to make some cuts along the way yeah sure yep. you guys have had to we, like you know, we, i mean it's been ruthless lately yeah. 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 Yo, i'm not it's playing games like, yo, you ain't good. Fucking good enough bro <laughs> he's like, dude, he ha- it's, that's, how, mean, you gotta that's be, how you gotta be it's, like and it's not even trying to be like a dick like being too nice and like allowing everyone to join your yep. team yep yeah you that just gonna set you up for a fucking failure nope Jake. you gotta because like dude at the end of the day like you know most of the time i'm working with my friends right but like business is business friendship is friendship like you yeah. gotta be able to draw that line and like i don't like even one of the people that we started high caliber with i mean i fucking dropped him i i like set up a message with everybody else and i was like yo there's no way you guys like don't feel that this dude sucks right <laughs> <laughs> you know so we got rid of him <laughs> well, it's kind of like and that's the thing too it's like yeah because even when uh, like jake's dropped other people from like uh like built different like the management group uh like he's even you know he would ask me he's like hey man what do you think about this and i, and I was like and he describes why and i'm like you're right you know what i mean like you're you're totally right like that's and at the-, the end of the day it's just like it's like stuff like you know 
you you all got to like just be doing your role, you know, at the end yeah. of the day. And like, you can't wait for anybody. Otherwise it, it'll never fucking happen. No. You know, definitely won't. <laughs> yeah, you gotta I mean, keep if you right. you basically keep moving forward to the point where like you know if there's someone behind you that like isn't with the pack, like dude, you can't be held back. No, nope. you know because that's yeah. that's what it is. Day. It's even like that with like a lot of like friendships too, which people will people will do. People will um mm-hmm. like where, whether they're trying to like succeed and just whatever whatever it is that like their their friendships will hold them back because they've been with them forever or like yeah. that they're from the past. You know, it's like hey, these are my people from the past and like I love them, but like you know, they just hold them back because they don't want to like succeed or it's not that they don't want to succeed. They just don't you try to go people. Not one thing I've learned is that not everybody's meant to be in your life forever. Nope. Exactly. And that's definitely like, that's definitely what it is. And I agree with that. Like 100%. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like it's fucking wild. You got that shit ready. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there well, you go. like a lot of these, like, I don't know. I watch like a lot of like inspirational type people like, like David Groggins. Yeah. Shit. I fucking love that dude. dude he's, he, yeah. he's fucking nuts. I've dude. listened. He's, yeah. he's a monster. I don't even know about some of that guy's stories though. Like I've listened to Read his, his books, audio books. No, I love oh, David li- Goggins, yeah, yeah. but fucking like running with like broken chins and shit. Is that even He'll possible? He'll have like pus. Obviously it was. Is like, that possible? I don't know. He's like the extreme. Yeah. He is extreme. But like. But some people need to hear that shit, though. Yeah. Like, I think helped. that's why Andrew Tate, like, blew up so much, too, because he's just so aggressive with, like, his style. Like, and I'm not, I, there's some things that I, like, I agree with, like, him. There's something that I don't. But, like, some people need to hear that aggressive, get off your fucking ass, you're a pussy, get it's to work. Yeah, get it's to a work. big eye like, and To be honest, I was one of those people for same. a long time. All of us. Like, like I, if I was a young man, dude, like, I'd probably be a huge Andrew Tate fan, dude, because I was, at one point, I needed to hear that shit. Well, that's, that's like, what it is with a lot of people. And, like, a lot of, you know, like, I, yeah, I don't really agree with almost most things that Andrew Tate says, but you are right. Like in that right. sense to where like he does, people you know, need like, to, some people just need to hear that. Shit. Yeah, literally. Right. And it's like, you Intense. know, there's, and that that's mm-hmm. the thing that's kind of cool is I feel like that that's the shift lately is that that's, that's what people have been like talking about. It'll be like almost anything that you hear that's been like popular on the internet or something like Cat Williams, for example, like it's all about like, it's all about like people uh, like almost exposing the truth of like whether, like you that you need to work harder that you need to like that you need to actually like be the person that you say that you're going to be because like right. calling of, people out on their bullshit like yep. it's kind of like we the society has this weird thing right now what's like you can't hurt people's feelings and if you call <laughs> someone so out, and if you call <laughs> someone well it's like if you call someone out on their shit you're the fucking asshole yep. yeah. about it because yeah, you that's how it is <laughs> like, yeah because i do that shit all the yeah, time yeah. man but like, i think people are starting to get like there's a shift as like that was the norm for a while but now i think people are starting to get like fed up it's with good. it like this is enough well because like, it, like, it is good because like it's like it's the whole thing of that uh what is it like you know people who get their feelings hurt over anything that anyone says it's like your feelings are valid and it's totally fine that they got hurt but you shouldn't expect anyone else to give two fucks that your feelings hurt because they shouldn't because it doesn't like you know unless you're really close with them obviously yeah but like you know what i mean like because mm-hmm. it, it doesn't it doesn't like matter like it's like you're just one one person out of the six billion in the world. You know what I mean? Got like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, everybody. Everyone's got. I got problems. I like, dude, we all have problems. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it, it, it's like if my feelings get hurt over something about it, like I talk about it to like you know my close friends or something mm-hmm. like that, or you know, you, I just say it to my cats because you know. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you know, like it's it, it's one of those things. Like you don't, I don't need to bother other people with like that kind of stuff because it's like one, you're just projecting that like negative energy on them, and then it just doesn't it doesn't help anything. It literally helps nothing no, for you to just get upset over it and like project it onto someone else. In my opinion, at least, like I don't know, I'm not like a fucking, you know. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, because at the end of the day, too, if you uh, like, if you kind of like put that energy back on somebody, you're just kind of sticking with like them. You know well, what I mean? Victim mentality, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like if you if you drop you down to the same level as the person that like did whatever, like then you're the fucking might as well be the same person. That's actually what happens know? a lot with um, like that actually is what happens a lot with like almost even relationships with people. Is that so? Like so, say there'll be like you know a relationship. Somebody one person makes more money than the other. One person mm-hmm. seems like that they're they're more attractive. They're funnier. They make more money. They're just a like whatever. They're like a they'll know, beat that person in every category exactly. <laughs> and then the other person feels like almost like that they're lesser of them. And then they're afraid that they're gonna lose this person because of that. So they do like there's either one or two things to do. It's either you step up and get to their level or at least try to, or you bring them down with you, you know, and that's what like what people will try and do. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of times people will be in a relationship and they, that's why like they almost, you know, make the, their other significant other feel bad, which is like, yeah. you want to be with someone who pulls you <laughs> yeah. up, not pulls you down. Exactly. I've been in those relationships where like 
that other person tried to bring me down like with her because, yeah because she, and she had her own demons you know and like when the, i look about it she she also had like a really bad drinking palm whatever and i was kind of always that i was always trying to be that person trying to help her and be more supportive of her but it's like the tougher that i tried the further i went down yep it was fucking Facts. like i was trying to make her life better put more energy into that than she was on herself yeah you can't like, be doing that yeah like, that's like me and my ex like uh my kid's mom like it was bad like because like we we both like had our problems back then like as far as like depression and shit yeah. and then us being together like it just literally dragged both of us down like to the point where like yeah you know, especially just, when both people aren't healthy like, yeah sometimes trauma bonding helps but a lot of times it doesn't either it, it does. can yeah. go either way really it's just I'm, for me it just made it worse well i mean you like know? if you if you look at it in the sense of like so say two people get together then they're both like they they just can't go out in public they're so bad with it or whatever yeah. and then they like they 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 like they both like say like love museums or something like that but they just can't go because they can't be around the people if these two people can go to the museum together and they feel better about it, that is like good trauma bonding. You know what I mean? Cause they both have this trauma, but they can both help each other work through it. But then there's the other kind where it's like, you know, you try, you, you trauma bond over, say the same thing to where it's mm-hmm. like, you don't like going out in public with people. And then, um, you just like feed off that. You're like, yeah, we don't want to go out ever. We're just going to stay at home yeah. and like not fucking like ever go associate with people and not try and get better. And like, that's just, that's like negative trauma, trauma bonding. So it'd be like the same thing as like, like you both were like not helping each other in that sense. And it's like, that's, yeah. that's sometimes it was bad. That's, <laughs> dude, but that's like tough. Like I've been in that same situation to where it's like the same thing to where like you, you just both like are not necessarily, you're both feeding off of each other's negativity because it's comfortable. It's easy. Like you don't want to do the difficult part. You don't want to take that, the, that you want to take the path of least resistance and yeah. do what's easy and not go out and not go enjoy the things mm-hmm. that you want to actually do because you don't want to go. And it's public. so easy to slip in that comfort mode, dude, of just staying at home, throw a pizza in the oven, <laughs> yeah. turn the Xbox on, boot up the computer, dude. Yep. It's like, it's so Americans have the most comfortable life like ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then that's, that's what, that's what happens. That's why a lot of people um like don't succeed in a lot of things. Is because they become too comfortable and then they don't yeah. want to like they don't want to like Oh, you with someone else who's too comfortable. That's that exactly. That'll and drag it's like you down when just you're both, as quick. Yeah, yeah. When you're when you're both comfortable, then it's like it's so easy to sit there. Sometimes it's like, okay, like say like you got a good job and blah blah, and like you know, the the only thing that you really want in life is you and your significant other to have kids and like raise your children and like you be comfortable with that and like not really like try and do anything crazy and like you know, own this company that you're like working for or something like that you know like rise up like that's 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 a whole different story obviously it's like everything where there's like a you know there's a certain push pull with everything but like yeah you definitely just don't want to get too comfortable in general because then you just you're not going to move forward if you're on that fucking grind like you gotta pretty much dedicate like all of your time to it if you like Uh, work a fucking and sacrifice some relationships oh dude i've sacrificed like everything yeah like Like, i don't like i even cut off my dad for this stuff just because like he he would like screw with my mindset you know what i mean cut him out sometimes that's what you have to do i mean i'm glad i've never had that like i don't i definitely don't have to cut out my family like do you think that's a little too selfish show no like because like Cause like I agree with you, like do what you gotta do to make it a success. But I feel like when it comes to pair, like parents, I mean, and I don't know the relationship with you I and mean, your dad. Maybe like it hasn't been rocky or whatever. So you like, I'll let you talk about that. But I do think there's at some point like you get, it's easy to get way too selfish. So like, of when, when you get obsessed with trying to make it. Well, no, because it's it wasn't even like to do with that. It was more on the lines of like when I was trying to just like free my mind and like mm-hmm. you know of anxiety and like being depressed and whatnot because like the my relationship with my dad like it was scratchy since i was like a little kid and All like right. you know in my eyes it's like i feel like you shouldn't like when you're in a relationship with a parent like they're your parent right yeah. so like you shouldn't have to beg for their attention and shit right at, at the end of the day and like it just got to the point where like dude if you want to call me once a year like you know, you don't want to be in my life. Right. You know what I mean? So I was like, fuck it. Might as well just cut it off. And I should have done it a long time ago. I don't yeah. know. I, I feel like, I guess I feel like it's not really like that selfish because like, say whether like for me, one of the things, like one of the longest relationships I had, we had to split up because um, it basically like it boiled, like the more successful thread got the more, um, 
like jealous that she got basically what you know what it came down to obviously like we both had problems i definitely had problems jealous of success or jealous that you're spending more time with thread than you are with her it 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 probably it was it was kind of like it was a little bit of all of it and also too like all the attention i would get in like and um because like at the time too i was like losing a bunch of weight getting looking better and everything coming the man uh, yeah and then like and then <laughs> yeah. so also she would get she would also like get jealous too if like just random like women would just be in my inbox just because they like threads me, my music you know what i mean yeah and um and like that would also be a thing too and, and basically boiled down to like that it would be either you know the only way that the relationship was going to work is if i stopped thread and if i just stopped making music did she give pers- you that ultimatum if she, you don't mind me asking she definitely didn't actually we okay. just kind of like taught like we did it we talked about it like civilly and it was knew. a it was a it was a mutual thing and like we kind of came to that understanding that that was like that was the only way it works and like and and it brings me to the point of where i feel like that it's not too selfish say if it was your parent or a relationship that you like quit it because of that it's because um i would have like she was even the one who like said this too uh, that if I say I did quit thread and we like stayed together and like just, you know, kept like the family together and everything like that. And um, like she even said, she's like, then you're going to resent me for the rest of your life because yeah. of like, you wouldn't know, like you wouldn't have been able to like attempt to even achieve, achieve your dream. So that's the thing is like, I feel like that it's definitely not selfish. Cause like if my, so if like Jake, you know, didn't cut off his dad and then it just kind of like hindered his success like he would resent his dad probably for the rest of his life for that. If, if, right. if his dad was a big part of it, like maybe, you know, maybe yeah. like, if you feel like crack. you can blame that person, if, yeah, that. if you can, even though like they're technically not to blame. Cause it's like, right. you could still, you could still do, you could always almost do both, but it's sometimes it's just not like, it's actually, maybe you couldn't, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you'd never know. And it's one of those things that like, you're just making the best educated guess that you can. And I like would always support that if like you're trying because ultimately it's all about you anyways because it's like you're the one who has to live with yourself like your dad doesn't have to live with you right. like you know so it's like ultimately like you got to do what's best for you like in general like it doesn't even matter and like dude, know? also too like you know because it's different because he's like family right but like i also don't like believe like you know just because like something's tradition or like something that it, you know it's like what you've always done like those sometimes that shit's just like holding you back you know what I yeah. mean? Like, for instance, say say you celebrate Christmas every year and like you're broke as shit, but you just do it. You know what? You're no not a good example because I love <laughs> Christmas, but like, but you just I love keep, good gifts. But you but you just keep doing it because like you're you think you're supposed to do it, right. like, but it just holds you back. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was I mean, su- it, that was such a bad example. It's, it's, <laughs> but it does, okay, it does make sense, sense though. Yeah. It does make sense. You know, that, like yeah, because it's like you know why why cut it out? You know, it's like it's the same with me with like um you know I've like. I've also like, you know, lost a lot of weight in like my journey. And uh, the one thing that I've realized, and even my mom like told me that it's like, it just runs in the family that, well, apparently it's her genes because like my dad doesn't have this problem, but like, I just can't eat bread. Like I just can't eat bread or, and my favorite foods are pasta, oh, pizza, sandwiches, blow up. literally yeah. like, <laughs> like literally I gained like my last, like, you know, it wasn't her fault for sure. It was definitely my fault, but I gained a bunch of weight back um, because I was just like, and it wasn't even crazy. I was just eating like sandwiches, like one yeah. sandwich a day. And like, you well, know, you're getting I, older now too. Uh, yeah. I put on 15 pounds this past year, but I tell my girl it's sympathy weight. I'm working on my dad bod now, but yeah. I was like one eight, like I'm not even kidding. Like a year before she was pregnant, I was 185. Now I'm like fucking over two bills. Yeah, like I've like, definitely put on some muscle, yeah. but I look at myself like, okay, there's some fat there. Yeah, there's some dad bod. Like, I feel bad too because I got down to like 200, but also like. You know, I had quit drinking, but I was still doing other stuff. Like yeah. we were doing, I was fucking doing Molly all the time at shows and shit. So like that was playing into like how For much sure. weight I lost. But like now it's like healthy. Yeah. You know? Even like, I'm sure you feel like you get down, like, okay, you get down to like your peak physical form, you know, 200, 185, whatever you at, And then you gain an extra 10 pounds. And you're like, fuck. Dude. Yeah, it sucks. I'm, like I'm going it, backwards now. Like I just put in all this work to get down here. And now like what happened? That's that's literally what happened to me. And I had like a whole like uh, a recent awakening. And then that's what it like started like, all right, well, I have to get back on like eating my like my normal like diet and like, you know, or like yeah. a good diet, one that works for me, which is like the only technically carbs that I eat aside from like what's in vegetables and shit. Um, 
is just from like a third a cup of oats in the morning and that's that's it and then Josh the rest is, is a healthy motherfucker and then the rest yeah, is, that's, that's the thing I can't do like to me though like I can work out every day no problem do really fucking intense workouts I've been doing Muay Thai actually for this past for the past year Hell it's yeah. the toughest shit I've I ever bet, done in my I, life yeah. too <laughs> like, those, been, those fighters look fucking fit as hell like, yeah dude they're fit as hell dude, and they're tough as hell dude I have like kick even kicking like doing kicks with shin pads on dude I feel like such a pussy yeah. like I can't imagine like like a, we would we're sparring, like we we each have shin pads on, dude. I'll like block his kick, but it'll be shit on shin. I still feel it. Like Damn. my shit will get boost. But like I can imagine these guys going like full blast, shit on shin. You ever banged your shin against like yeah, the, table? Yeah. the scooter? <laughs> yeah, the like just something. Yeah. <laughs> like, now imagine just like these uh, fighters just going full blast, shit on shin. Yeah, that's man. fucking nuts. Yeah, that's wild. That's cool that you're doing that. Yeah, because it's like a it's a different way to exercise. Yeah, too. yeah, I did it, so I switched up to it. So I also had an injury. Like I took a really like hard direct blow on my knee, and I like I took like I have like if I showed you a picture on my knee, I got like a fucking divot in my kneecap. Ooh. Yeah, Damn. so I can't. So doing high impact exercises are really tough for me now. So I was looking and getting into doing things that was still really good cardio, not as hard on your body. Like I try to work out for longevity now. That's what I'm thinking about. I was like, I you don't see any like really old dudes like doing deadlifts or anything in the gym no. like that. <laughs> like sure. I've I've changed my mindset in the gym. It's like okay, I want to be working out when I'm 60 years old still. Yeah, because dude, you can burn yourself out real quick. That's you know that's fun. Yeah. That's what a lot of people happen like around like our age is uh people will like they'll be in the gym uh like say even just like for 10 years from their 20s to their 30s and they're just like that they're pretty much just lifting weights maybe doing some cardio but mainly yep. just lifting weights and like they look good and everything like that but then they start to like realize that like you're not actually really fit like you yep. like you can be like you can bench press 300 pounds and like just have these like crazy weights and look fucking ripped right. as hell but you still get out of breath when you walk up a flight of stairs yep. which like to me like to me, like I, I, I don't knock like just lifting like all for it as long as like you're getting in your workouts because it's actually super healthy to like strength yeah. train anyways. You should for sure. But, and it like, feels fucking good throwing up three plates, dude. Th Never th got it myself. Yeah, I but think it's the most I got was the three oh five. Damn, I'm but a, still, lot, like that's though. that's yeah. a lot. Like that's that's I no can joke. still rep the two twenty five like eight times around there. You could Maybe almost bench take press fat Jake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, that's a lot. No, yeah, it, it, really it was, is, dude. Like... That was back. Dude. I used to love fucking maxing out like once a month, dude. Taking no. a shit ton of pee workout. Just, just get, fucking it. get it. Yeah. No, because like because they're really too. Like I, I don't see that. Like I don't see that as bad at all. I just feel like that. Like if you're gonna do that, I think that you should have something else in there. Or like say like Muay Thai that like yeah or like maybe you just do yoga like something right. that like makes it so you can still move you know right. what I mean like I feel like it I do feel like it's wild that like I want to personally be able to like you know walk upstairs and not run out of breath kind of type exactly. of thing so it's like that's why like I do cardio all the time you know something like well, that I'm sure and it like, helps you when you're performing too when you're yeah, playing dude. shows and shit dude, like that's another thing fucking moves you should he's yeah, yeah. Dude, he, he's dude, like you the get fucking sweaty buddy. bro it's <laughs> so sweaty yeah like you like I, I know I, I've never personally like check myself on like you wear one of those like wristbands or something even though apparently they're not very accurate like all those things that like count your calories and stuff like that they're like apparently they're like 20 percent off um at least uh but apparently like so one person did like a show and then they wore like one of those and they burned like two thousand calories during their set which I, burns I, like five i, I believe that i believe that you probably could that you definitely could burn a, a, at least a k like during a set it's like and it's just like an hour like in an hour but it's like you that's an intense hour it is a super it. intense hour like it's it is it really is and it's like there's no weight so no nothing you're just like non-stop i guess it depends on the music you're playing but like for sure, like a moves. lot of my sex. You got some moves, though, bro. I got, dude, I, I'm a, I know how to dance. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I just figured it out, I guess. And like, it was actually definitely happened when I like, I like really broke out of my shell. And then like, just something happened. And like, I just kind of stopped giving a fuck. You know yeah. what I mean? And then it's like, so then I can just like dance now. You know what I mean? Just because I just you don't stopped care. worrying about what people thought of you when they dude, saw you dance. Dude, literally. I haven't broken out of that dancing chill yet. When I go to, or if I'm ever out, dude, I'm still just thinking about what people are thinking of me when I'm out, when I'm busting Fuck out them. my dance moves. I mean, I feel like that's a very common insecurity among men, actually, being able to dance. Yeah, dude, my, definitely. I'll be and then, like, if, trench hands at yeah. the show. <laughs> and if there's a dude that's out, dude. really good at dancing, you're like, oh, he's a bitch. He's a femme boy. Yeah, dude, like, I, I'll take that, man. I'm, I'm Fuck definitely, it. I'm I definitely mean, more on the feminine side. I always feel, I feel like it's weird when people aren't 
like going crazy yeah. you know what i mean like it's, true. it's like don't you like this stuff you know but it Fuck is it. but it, but i do get it. it's like it is one of those things that like where you just break out of your shell yeah and it's, it's kind of it's tough to do with that because it's tough to do with anything it you took know? a lot it's of for, molly for yeah. me to like get it doesn't matter if it's dancing yeah. or not it's hard to get like are you able to fucking break it down now being so yeah, yeah, yeah. out there oh yeah, yeah bro i i have fun dude yeah. <laughs> it, yeah like i love this shit so like i don't need to be fucked up to like actually enjoy what i'm doing true yeah. Most time it's been a while now too, yeah. but like I'll yeah, be. How long you been sober for? I've been sober from liquor for it'll be three years in May, and then like drugs, like I honestly don't even know. Like I didn't like there wasn't ever a day where I was like, oh yeah, like I quit. This it just it. happened. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, fuck. Sometimes I'm going harder than people that are like fucked up. Yeah, because, yeah. You know, well, like the most fun, like some of the most fun shows I've ever had was when I was, yeah, sober. and you can actually like, remember them, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I would always, yeah, I would always, I mean, have all the shows you've been to, like, yeah, you probably don't even remember 80% of them. No, I don't, no. at least the ones I, I get, Molly, like, yeah, dude, I, fuck, especially, fucking yeah. slapped. I, I guess it just depends too, because like when you like on what you do, like, because like, you know, no lie, like, I, I still eat mushrooms a lot, like, I'm a big mushroom person, but yeah. I, I kind of like, I definitely more most of the time I don't eat them at shows every once in a while. But it's always funny when I do, and then I talk to people, and then like they, hey, do you want any blah, blah? I'm like, no, nah, like it would ruin my trip. And they're like, hey, you're tripping. You can and, never know yeah, this. Like, Josh, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, I know Josh well. It'll be at his house. He's like, oh, I'm tripping. I'm like, what? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We've been hanging out for like two normal. hours. Yeah. And it's like, and I've been like, he, you know, during You must my not peak, take like, that. Are you like micro no. Oh, no. It's like, Josh it, yeah. It. Like me and Jake Shit, at Lost Lands, he ate some of my, like, so it's like, I make chocolates <laughs> and they'll have like four grams in the chocolate. So I eat one whole thing that's like four grams and like, you know, but like, the chocolate, I was those fucked. aren't as visually intensive. Well, no, like I like make those them, ones you can buy in like Colorado. No, no, shit. I make them myself. So yeah. I, I get like mushrooms. Same and, thing, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it is kind of the same. Okay. Well, like, so I get, I just get like my own like mushrooms from some exclusive dealer. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeff. From T no. <laughs> I get no. my mushrooms on T Moo, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and like, but I mean, I just, I just like grind them up into a powder and then create and then put them like melt chocolate mix it well i mix it with peanut butter too so they taste pretty good too but i just do it so it's like easier to digest and it doesn't make me as sick and uh but i mean like i i am trying to stray away from it because i'm getting sick of chocolate but um but yeah like i don't know like it's it's definitely really it's intense because like for yeah, your mind dude. Yeah, yeah well like it helps that's me. the one drug i don't regret doing i haven't done like hard drugs in a while but i would maybe do some mushrooms yeah i would do mushrooms I, smoke weed you know but like that's pretty much it I, at it, this it's, point. it's kind of weird to say but i almost like have to do it and it doesn't sound healthy to say that at all but jake it's, knows it's spirit like, like yeah. spiritually it, it, i like, you know I like I mean? wanting to get into just michael dosen like my buddy would do that like every day at yeah, work but like michael you take like a very small amount yeah you do like you do some that it doesn't even like you can't even they, like yeah, tell dude, it there's a lot of studies the about it too. yeah and it helps a, a lot, lot with depression and shit too they said they're figuring out a lot of things about well, like, like michael dose the health benefits of michael dose well, like a, i know too a lot of like the the depression like work on mushrooms has been like in the macro dose to where like they do uh like four grams or more to where like they they and like a lot of it so like i've been like watching a lot of like studies and videos on it and like a lot of it too is like the whole time that they're tripping, like you don't even open your eyes. You have your eyes closed the entire time during the trip. So it's like the whole idea huh. is that you focus on like you're supposed to like eat a lot of them. And yeah. then I mean, I'm not saying anyone do this by yourself because like it's not <laughs> it's not that like you have a bad time or anything like that. Yeah. It's that it's that like if you're looking to like cure depression with mushrooms, you're not going to be able to do it by yourself. You're yeah. going to have to like you need to like do it with like professionals that are literally like that. They know what they're doing and they're knowing what's going to fix it because the whole thing is like they they have you trip and you have your eyes closed. And the whole reason why you have your eyes closed is so you can completely focus on your issues like your depression yeah. or whatever or the it's reasons probably behind how you it. get stuck in your head. Yeah. And that's, that's and that's, I didn't know it was like that. Yeah, that's how that's how it actually works. Because I looked cool. into it and like because for me, like I, I mean, I have my eyes open the whole time. Most of the time I trip by myself. But I do it to like, I do it to like, I, I almost need it to like recenter myself because I'm always doing task after task after task, like all the time. And then like my, the way that I describe it is that like, I have like a, a stack of files in my brain. And after like a month or so, like they just become like disorganized and everything like that. And then I just do like a ridiculous mushroom trip to where it's like, sometimes <laughs> like by the time I like, I get into it that like, I'll be laying down and it's. I can almost barely get up because of how like heavy I feel, you know? So then, and, it, and it's like, and it's just, it gets wild, but it like, it, it puts a lot of things into perspective and it like put, takes that, like that unfiled mess and like re like, and it puts everything back in its place. And Jake's like, he's seen it happen at like, it's worse to where like, I didn't eat them for like, 
probably almost like six months or a year or something like that. And I was just a mm-hmm. fucking asshole. And I couldn't like, I couldn't cope well, with like anything. Your mood and it shit. was something he was like, a dick. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I even like, said oh. something. Yeah, he did. He was like, dude, you're a fucking ass. And I was like, man, I need to like, and then I realized I'm like, dude, I haven't like, you know, and I, it, it sounds like an excuse and it probably is. And like, there's probably other ways that I could do it, but it, like, right. it's, it's, it's good for you. It's that's the, why I, it's the placebo effect that works for me. Right. I'm assuming that that's not like the reason why I'm not telling anyone like, just eat mushrooms. You'll be fine. Like, Maybe. you know, you might be. but like, but, <laughs> but, you know, like for, for me, it's work, but I think it's just more just because of like, that's my way of like that. My brain says it's going to work. If mm-hmm. I probably like really worked on it and tricked myself to where like, I don't need to eat mushrooms. I just need to meditate, you know, like twice a day for 20 minutes. And like that, that my probably do that would probably do better than it would be for me to eat mushrooms like once doesn't sound as fun it, you know, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah. no dude that's i fucking sure. i still love it like you know what i mean but like but yeah it's just like it's one of those wild things like well dude and know. like mushrooms too it's natural yep. you know yeah. you can go somewhere in the world and fucking find them like how how bad could it be and like nobody's ever died off mushrooms like well, so, yeah, I'm you know what I mean, extent. like from the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. like the people. Like, yeah, they probably done some stupid. Not talking about the people that like think they could fly. And some, shit. Some, yeah. some people like, uh, don't yeah. do that. There has but. been cases recently where some dude like did where he like actually like it like it was because I think it was, it was because he was already like depressed and I think he was from he used to be in the military and he had PTSD and it was super bad. And then he kept like eating mushrooms and it just like made it worse. Yeah, which that that's, doesn't that happens good. a lot too. That's why, like I even said earlier is like when, uh, the whole thing with like, if you're uh, with like depression that you really shouldn't be eating like a bunch of mushrooms and trying to fix it just yourself with that, because yeah. that, that a lot of times with people when they're doing that, it actually just makes it worse. Like they, they're, they're fighting depression and then they try and they're like, the, they say the mushrooms like help. And it's like, yeah, if you, you do it right. I mean, they might, it might yeah. work for them. Like it does for me, but you like, gotta have I, I other think things I'm just, in your life though. Uh, also in line, exactly. Like the mushrooms like help you kind of break through that wall, dude, but you already gotta be pushing against it. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that, that would, yeah. I mean, I believe that I would like, not solely believe. No, like, yeah. solely depend. I don't, that. I don't. Yeah. I honestly don't really even suggest it unless, you know, yeah. Like I more though. suggest them rec- recreationally than anything, you know. What yeah, I mean? fuck, they're legal and like I think in Colorado, yeah, you get like, so, like chocolate Oregon bars sure. and shit. Yeah, the chocolate bars. That's what I was talking about earlier. When I, I wonder about the chocolate is, bars. Yeah, I wonder like with some of the ones because I remember some dude gave me. He asked me, he's like, "Hey, you want some mushrooms?" And they're like, and like some things, and they like they said that they were like, re- like trip mushrooms. You know what I mean? I'm like, and I kept asking like psilocybin, you know, like to yeah. be like clear. And then like I just took them anyways, and it's like I didn't notice anything. So it's like you know that's why like I don't know where he got them though, because they could just be like lion's mane, which like I take every day. But that's like yeah. that shit doesn't make you like trip. It just no, it helps doesn't. With- I do- I've gotten on that shit out. I've ordered some random mushroom supplements there hot trend right now they, i like keep seeing all, this shit on instagram it works all the time. like yeah <laughs> dude i bought some stuff off amazon i don't know it was called like genius motions or some shit i don't know there's all those things i took it all like, i can't tell you if it really made me better or not dude, but i feel that way about like pretty much any, any type of vitamin that's so. that's Same. the pro- like so i i'm like super big into that to where like i i'll take a supplement or do something or like just like change my routine like whether yeah. it's stretching in the morning or like i write three pages every morning like the first thing i do when i wake up is yeah, I write we're three gonna pages. talk about your morning routine actually oh yeah yeah, okay, the fourth, well, I, yeah the fourth thing well i feel like we could trend, like the four things you do every day okay yeah, is that well, one of them well like yeah so, shit down? So, so when i when i wake up like i wake up at i wake up at 5 45 every day and right when i wake up besides like i you know go to the bathroom and like feed my cats because they're like bitching until i feed them like they won't stop <laughs> you're a major cat dad yeah yeah i mean i only got two of them but like yeah i'm but a so your cat, cat dad, dad for sure like yeah <laughs> Those are your babies yeah, yeah. But like they, yeah. So after I feed them, then I go upstairs and I write three pages on like a notebook. It's like they're the the like you know big pages, and I write whatever. Like it's it's you start just writing anything. Like what they'll even say the people who suggest to do it is that if you don't want to write, write. I don't know what to write, and you just yep. keep going. It takes me like fifteen minutes or so, and then after that I stretch, and that's like about a thirty to forty five minute thing. Okay. And then after that, then you know like I'll make breakfast, which is like the same thing every morning, which I'll eat like. It'll be like four to roughly five ounces of steak and uh, four egg whites and then a third a cup of oats. And that's what Man, I'll... That's a lot of meat, bro. Well, like, uh, so, so like, <laughs> to... So apparently, like, well, because one, uh, with my diet, I want to hit my uh, 200 grams of protein every day. Yeah. And... Um, Do you, are you doing a gram per pound? Yeah, yeah. Then, for, like, okay. ideal body weight yeah. or whatever. And then, um, so, uh, I'll do that. And, like, what they suggest to... Oh, what most people suggest, like, that are, like, you know people who are like actually go to college for this shit and learn about it um that they suggest that the the first meal of the day is the one that you have the most protein so like with that like i try and get like about 50 grams of protein in like with just that mm-hmm. one first meal and like 
So yeah, I mean, like I'll do that and then go to work. And then after work, I work out and then I go home and then I eat again, which is typically like, it'll normally be like the same thing today. I just did like protein drink and like a banana with some tri seeds in it because the, to get uh, your fiber in because yeah. the tri seeds like really tri seeds are really good. Yeah. yeah. They're super food. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We'll yeah. So I'll foods. do like, I'll do some of that. And like today I did like almost like a scoop and a half of protein because I knew I wasn't going to eat like right away. But then like the, cause since I was going to come here and then the second, like, then the next meal that I'll eat, well, actually, well, in between that, I'll fucking, you know, do whatever I need to do, whether it's like make music or, you know, like make a reel or some Facebook shit or whatever, like just to do anything towards thread. And then like in, sometimes I do whatever, like, you know, I will some days I'll just do whatever I want, which a lot of times it'll just be like read. You mm-hmm. know, I've been doing that a lot lately. And um, but then when I eat like my dinner, it'll typically be like, you know, a um, couple chicken breasts uh, in avocado and then like three or four egg whites and then uh like it'll be peppers and onions it's a lot of food have you tried like, the carnivore diet uh i mean where it's just meat i mean just that's, meat. that's like basically what i do for the most part aside from the oats and like uh like because i do well, i will have an avocado and like peppers and onions and i, I kind of change it because everyone yeah it's all animal products so it's only like meat eggs fish has to be like Isn't come that, from didn't Joe animal. Rogan do that? I mean, like, yeah, he, he had some guy on there. Rogan's a huge advocate of it, so I tried to do it right for ten. I I did it for ten days straight. I mean, I didn't have a fucking carb, dude. Dude, it broke my dick though, and I had really? to stop doing it. Like, I had zero sex drive. I couldn't get <laughs> no, dude. I probably felt sluggish. Weird, dude. I no, I couldn't even get an erection. I had no blood flow going down there at Interesting. all. Interesting. Cause I mean that's and like, then I was like I gotta get off. yeah <laughs> fuck that that's, that's, like, I fuck stop that. that's <laughs> wild <laughs> I was like I can't be doing any diet that effect <laughs> yeah I mean no. I wouldn't like and the, well dude that's like the that's whole sketch. thing of like uh, what I was it even is. like uh, thinking about before with like you're saying the, the when you but I was them. strict though like dude I'd have a fucking carb it was steak bacon fucking a lot of eggs dude like it was all hundred percent animal products I like wonder, I felt myself yeah. getting leaner but dude I felt I'll get like the meat sweats in the afternoon and shit I think it was. What uh, the reason I didn't get any blood flow down there from I, my body just didn't have the energy for it okay. between work, working out, and like bartending and doing everything. Like my, I was just at it's such a negative deficit every single day well, I wonder, that I just didn't like, have the you energy. Can't for do it anything yeah. extra. Yeah, I was like, and then. Well, yeah. That's crazy. I wonder if you would just I like, try to have fun with my girl on time. It wasn't working. Like, I was like, like, oh my no. God. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> this is like, the end. <laughs> I went out and ate like a fucking loaf of bread. <laughs> well, I, I wonder if it was just something that you need to get used to. Because I mean, like, but maybe like it could just be your person. I, you know? I would not it's, risk that. No, it's, I, that's <laughs> what I said. That. I was like, okay, maybe it goes away in like a week. But I was like, well, I just like for my own mental I, self. But this like, thing too. It's, I had like a fucking 100 carb smoothie. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, we'll do And it fucking resurrected it. I was like, all right. Like, very fun. Well, yeah. dude that's like the whole thing with like diets though is that like all of these diets whether it's the like the carnivore diet or the keto diet or whatever the fuck that you want to do they all work like every single one of them works the only thing is is like you like when you want to do like your weight loss journey or like keep weight off like the whole thing is like you just do what works for you and like that's what i do like this like what i like just described and like what i eat that where i could eat that shit and i have been for like i mean it's it's only been now like three-ish months of like straight just like no i haven't had anything no carbs except for like a third a cup of oats every day for like Mm -hmm. aside from christmas that was different but you know it's christmas um but like uh like that just works for me and it's just like the same thing with anyone else is that like you just do whatever diet works for you because you the whole thing is is that like when you lose the like you can do a keto diet and lose all this weight but like are you gonna be able to keep it off if you can't even like if you don't like the diet like you're not gonna it's just not like are you gonna be able to do this for the rest of your life that's what yeah, you have to think yeah. like, like am i gonna be able to do this diet for the rest of my life if you right. do that shit and then like stop doing it you you're pretty just gonna much gain just it gain back. that shit yeah, right away and then you're just gonna feel fucking shitty. yeah dude it's like i did all that work <laughs> yeah. for nothing <laughs> yep. yeah dude, so that's... like just healthier habits over time like that shit adds up oh yeah. definitely like, that's what... not eating at night's a big dude, one it's like that's a big one that's, that's, that's hard like, for me too yeah. i think it's hard for most people because we're just like so obsessed with just like you wake up you start working right away and then like a majority of people probably will easy go eight ten hours they don't even have a fucking meal all day and then they get home they, they just that's smash do, like, yeah. yeah but then you're not doing anything yeah like it yeah. needs to be the opposite like you said yeah you want to smash in the morning and then burn that off over the day yeah that's what i mean it's ideal to like do it i really try not to eat like i mean there's some times where i definitely have like eaten late and normally it's like i have a reason for it 
Like if I go to a show or something, I'll like I, I bring food with me to eat on the way home. Like if it's just like here, yeah, yeah. or no, not that. I, 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 I just eat <laughs> Doritos bags Locos and, Taco. Uh, dude, hey. can't, I, it sounds delicious. <laughs> I, I cannot like. So one of the things, man, I, I have it like I have a chalkboard wall in my studio, and like one of the things that I have for like my goals is that like when I get to like my specific like ideal kind of body weight or at least close enough or like the way that i want to look ideal body weight I, I guess i don't really know like what the actual weight you i just have that a for, six pack that's what it'll be that's what Do i mean pay- <laughs> like it's pretty much there not gonna lie like it's pretty close like it's really? pretty close to like i actually like i can like pretty much see like the, they're still fat for sure but like yeah. i can actually see the definition of them okay but it, it's still not quite there but once i get to like that point you then get, I get the right do, lighting yeah oh dude if i have the right lighting, the right then lighting then definitely yeah. and i have a six pack with yeah. the right lighting i have a six pack. i swear at the, <laughs> i swear at the gyms dude they got the lighting perfect yeah <laughs> in every log room I'll be there looking at myself like damn I'm feeling good and then I wake up in the morning you're I look like, at what my happened? bathroom yeah, just yeah. like what the hell no but that, dude that is true though like so yeah but like but uh where so, do you get those fucking light bulbs I That's don't know, what I, <laughs> yeah. I need those for yeah no but once I get to like that point then uh, like I'm I'm gonna do a photo shoot for the song that I have it's a song that's like oh, popcorn shit. influenced and we're gonna do a photo shoot where it's gonna I be like shit of like this, we're gonna we're gonna like fill a bathtub with popcorn and I'm oh, gonna yeah. be like in just it and like popcorn or uh, like cheddar no oh. i'm definitely not gonna have any, i don't Buttery. want any butter or nothing on it that would just be terrible yeah because it's gonna go over my skin like no fuck that no but uh so that'll be like we'll do a photo shoot in there and we'll use that for like videos or like for promo and stuff but it'll also be like the cover art for the song because it's popcorn influenced just because you know I eat a lot of popcorn. Loves popcorn I used to. Dude. Like, I don't really eat we're, very we're much gonna, anymore. But. We're gonna try to get him sponsored by like some type of popcorn. Oh yeah, that's your thing. Because okay. I mean, why not? Like, yeah, you know, that'd be cool yeah. as fuck. Yeah. Like I've never heard of somebody having. No, it, why? You know? Well, because it's like and it's I, genuine. Yeah, because yeah. I actually like it. I would totally love to get sponsored by some popcorn company. And it's like I'll eat your popcorn. If you see popcorn and threads visuals, you you'll know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> you'll true. You'll know. Like yeah, I, unless it's me in a bathtub, then that's different. That's gonna be stuff that we made. But right. Yeah. But yeah. So but one. Oh, but one. Once I get to like that point and do that photo shoot, then that like next day, I'm going to eat so much shit. It's going to be I'm going to probably eat like it's going to be like uh, there'll be like two pizzas, like just for one meal. You know what I mean? Two like kind of like, like nothing will motivate you more than when you know, than knowing you have to take your shirt off in front of a camera. Yep. Dude. That's what you that's wanted what it is. some motivation, <laughs> dude. Like get record yourself with your shirt off. Yeah. Like, that, that's literally what's happening. And so it's like, I'm going to, you know, cause that's the plan. And like, I want to do, cause that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to, cause if I'm in a bathtub with popcorn, why would I be wearing clothes? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, like <laughs> why would I like, have to wash your clothes? too yeah. yeah well i mean there's no way we're putting butter on that shit fuck that it's gonna be not no, putting butter on it? no way i feel like that'd be your whole the promo uh, no but then it's like, gonna be like just all wet. my skin what if you're like in the bathtub first and then you have like a cup of butter and okay like that it in you know what <laughs> we might have to do that but it's gonna get buttery oh, oh, so popcorn now dude, dude your whole body is just gonna like break out yeah. from all the freaking oil that's why i don't want to do it man that scares me. I had I, really bad acne when I was a teenager. See, that's Same. yeah, dude. That's why I like that shit. It was like one of my biggest insecurities. <laughs> I was like, I was like one of the worst kids in the grade, though. With the dude, they're just like, I remember my mom got me proactive and shit. Like all this, like really, like back then, proactive was like really fucking. I remember intense. this. Yeah. Now, like, it's that shit so bad for your dude, skin. Then yeah. came and found out, dude. I use that like every day for like dude, two damn. years. Well, I mean, you didn't you get, could get, probably like, get scar- one of those settlement like, things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. did you you've use been, proactive? Dude, from, from 1999 Leoma, to right or whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's fucking wild it's fucking wild man oh, dude there was God. yo so there was this uh it was called Zantec. It was for like heartburn because I get, used to get it super bad from drinking. And that had one of those where like they recalled it and like uh, it could give you freaking cancer. Dude, I used to pop those things like candy because like, like it got rid of heartburn instantly. Uh, yeah. Stomach cancer. So hopefully. Damn, that's wild. <laughs> hopefully I don't have that. Damn. You know, yeah. Sketchy. You don't want any cancer. Yeah, I believe that, dude. They're finding out so many things about giving cancer nowadays. It's ridiculous. It is it's common. like everything. Yeah, right? well, it's it really is. Well, most of the stuff that they do, they um, they put out like even when I would, like really started to look into like things that I should eat and shouldn't, and it was like even like fucking apples you can't even eat unless they're yeah. like organic ones because of like the wax that they put on there, and it's like. Yep. It's like fucking wild. Like I can't even like, and so like when I have to buy organic apples, I have to buy a bag of them. So I have to have like <laughs> eight fucking apples. And it's like, well, I really only want like three or four. You know what I mean? I end up eating all of them, but it's still like, you know, like, God yeah. damn, dude. I swear everything has that like 
sticker that says like the state of California recognizes this as blah blah blah. Yeah. Like now it's like everything. Well, well, dude, it's like when you go over uh, like m- most a lot of the food that's uh that's in the United States is illegal in most other countries because of yeah. all the stuff that's in it that like they're they're like humans can't eat that. So you can't put that on your foods. And like the United up, States dude. like just doesn't, you know, but it's, you know, that's just the world we live in. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's obviously a fucked up thing with the United States, but also there's a lot of great things about living here. You know, yeah, I mean? right. there's definitely like, we have not, I'm easy. not knocking it. I definitely am happy. I live here, but there is definitely a, you know, there's some things I wish that were different, but take with the bad with the good. Right. Just gotta try to do what you can to like make yourself. You just do what you can, feel, you know. Yeah, that's like literally what it is, man. Like, hundred percent. All right, I want to b- backpedal a little bit. We can oh, talk, yeah. go over this thing, and then uh, whatever. We then, we'll, then we'll see if we're at. But like, I wanted to pick you guys' brain about like when you were talking about business and friendship and like ban- and how you guys kind of balance that line right there because you feel i feel like you guys have done that very well and you have been friends even before you started like helping out with josh's music yeah. stuff yeah. right because yeah, there's a saying to... like you don't mix fences in business and you even talk about all the people that you've had to cut off like even one of the main founders of high caliber was it mm-hmm. yep. yeah yeah you guys he, have he been was, able to maintain your met friend- at his wedding really okay <laughs> But you guys have been able to maintain the other guys' friendship very well, it seems like. Yeah. It's like your friendship's even gotten stronger as... Oh, it has for as sure. Yeah, for... gotten stronger, too. Cause you know? like, so, like, what would be some advice you guys could give to, like, other other Jakes and Joshes, couple of bros that are out there right now? Honestly, that, you, you, know, be, you gotta be honest with each other. Like, when... Yeah. Like, if, say if I'm doing something or, like, if Josh is doing something, like, we, like, check each other. You know what I mean? Because, like, isn't that a good friend anyways? Yeah. Like... You got, that's like the biggest thing. Like you can't, cause it's so easy to like, uh, you know, get to that point where like, you're just having too much fun, yep. but like, we never get to that point. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Well, like, and, and that's no, cause Jake's right too. And, and that's also too, like, obviously, especially nowadays, it's really tough with that because when a lot of times when people will tell someone else the truth or check someone, uh, a lot of people get really defensive about it. And yep. like, and I, and I'm not saying that I haven't, and I'm not saying but, that Jake had like, yeah, we, this isn't something that like, that just like, we were always able to do this there. We yeah. definitely had problems to where like, you it was going trial and error. Exactly. Sure. Like, and it's really, well, it's really easy. Like I've worked with friends or like with us, a seal coding business where like my buddy was actually my manager, but like I was underneath them. You know what I mean? And there's that kind of weird dyma- dynamic where it's like, he's my boss, but we're also like really good friends. But it's really easy to butt heads yep. when you get into business for someone you have a personal relationship with. Big time. Yeah. I mean, Very easy. Because we've we've definitely had like times where it hasn't, where it's like we've had like differences, but it's never really been that bad either. Like no. there has been times where it has happened and we're just like, it was even like the whole mushroom thing I'm talking about earlier where I was just being a fucking dick all the time. But it was just, <laughs> it was like, you know, that's just because, yeah, but, that, but that's the thing is that like, it was just, it, it's just like any other relationship whether like friendship or romantic that like you just work through your problems and that's what we've had to do. And also like to add to this too, I think a big thing that helps a lot and it's would be this like uh, that like um, it's easy for like us to work together and stay together is that we, we basically have the same vision. You know what I mean? We have like that same goal and it's the same with everyone else on our team. We all want to do like the same thing. We all want to like, you know, I mean like to, to some extent, like right. obviously like we all want to like, you know, be able to make it obviously in this music industry and be able to sustain it. But we also want to like make change and just like mm. be able to like give, give our enemies jobs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, people dude, who, like that's I a like, big yeah. goal of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Give the haters employment. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I feel like you guys agree on how you, how to get there too. Yes, I've also seen a big, lot of people yeah. like fall apart. They have the same vision but they have a different way of how they want to get there. That's, yeah, and there's so know, many like, different ways, too. That's true. Like, that shit does happen a lot. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but no, that, that is actually true. And it is one of those things, too. It's where and we feel like, I feel like that we never really have that issue too much. Like anytime that it's 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 very, very rare to where like I would come up with an idea and Jake's like, no, that's fucking stupid. Or like same <laughs> yeah. with same with like if Jake and comes up with an idea and I'd be like, like no, that's dumb. Like mo- almost every time. But that, what like, if you're convinced like, no, this is good a fucking idea. I mean, like it would be like, right. but that's the thing. It's like if someone's like that convinced, we would totally I, I feel like that would be like, yeah, OK, well, let's fucking do it. Then, Send you know it. I mean? yeah. yeah, exactly. See what happens. Exactly. Yeah. Like, but it, it normally like if that if it's happened to where like, you know, I come up with an idea and Jake's like, yeah, maybe that's not a good idea. And then like I think about it. And then think about it. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like, let's not do that. Yeah. There's a better way Sleep we can do on it. it. Yeah. It, like, it's, and like, too, a lot of the shit, you know, like, maybe, like, you know, 
really the only difference that me and Josh ever have is like, you know, oh, maybe we should do this or maybe we should do it this way. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can just try so many different shit to it. There are so many different things or like ways to do it that it's like, I don't know, you kind of just, it's hard to, it's hard for us to get to that point. Cause like, we're like, well, fuck it. Let's just try yeah, Let's it. just try you it. Know? Let's see what happens. Well, cause yeah. most of the time too, it's like a new idea. So it's like, you well, how would we know? It's like, it's like, Oh, I got this. It's like, let's try this. And it's like, well, we've never tried it. Let's fucking do it. Like, you know, yeah. like <laughs> if it works great, if it doesn't, then we, whatever. Yeah, I mean, then, fuck everything that we've done. It's just trial and error. Yeah, like yeah. nobody really like taught us like this shit. We kind of just one day Josh started fucking DJing. Then he started producing and then, I kind of did the same thing, but I didn't take it seriously. And then I've always been good at like the like bit like business, business side of it. Side of and it, then I was yeah. like, "Well, fuck it." Started managing Josh, and it works good because like he's good at things I'm not. I'm good at things he's oh, not. Yeah. So it kind of like I cannot talk key to in promoters. I can't like talk to promoters. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll play every show for free if it comes down like you know what I mean? <laughs> dude. Yeah. He would, I we were like, talking. I was like, like, bro, just don't. Talk I can't. To them. I can't talk because he his promoters too nice. don't talk to me. Yeah, I will not. Like <laughs> they'll try to take advantage of him. That's why yeah. you got me in the corner with even, the fucking box. Even if they don't try on. and take advantage of me, I just allow. Like I almost like be like, hey, let's make this even easier on you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. It's because you, dude. You're just a good person. Yeah, right? but it's the. It's yeah. not a bad thing. It's it. Yeah, but it is. Sometimes. Yeah, for a business standpoint, it's a bad thing at times. Obviously, because there's plenty of times where it's like I'm, I'm looking forward to like the days where it's like where I get once I do this full time and then I get to like, hey, I want to do this show and I'm not gonna make any money from this, but it's all gonna go to like charity or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like probably a lot of like animal humane societies and shit like that. But you know, gotta save the cats. Yeah, man. fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking uh, proto hype used to do that too. Yeah, that's I fuck with that. That's definitely what I'm gonna do. All, I mean, like I mean, like I'm always like big on like charity stuff. I like I volunteer once a week at least. Not you enough know? people do, really? do that. Yeah, honestly, like. Well, I mean, I just do that like the Humane Society, but, but I have still, a dude, that's tomorrow, respect but... that you actually like take time out of your day to do it. Yeah. And it's not even that much. It's like it was a whole not like what we we're talking about earlier is like when you think it's, it's like you're trying to juggle so many things and then you're thinking like there's no way I have time for this or I have no there's no way I have like time to like do blank. And then you start doing it and you're like, wow, I had time the whole time. Yeah. And then like that's what I was with. Like I one day I thought I'm like, man, I like I've always wanted to like volunteer at the Humane Society. And then I just started doing it. And I was like. Because at first I always tell myself I don't have the time. I have so yeah. much shit I have to do, and it's like I I have the time. No, I respect a like, lot of people that take the time that they do charities and shit. Uh, one of my exes, she used to like escort people into Planned Parenthood to get abortions and shit. Dude. And like even though we broke up, like I respected her a lot for that because she actually took the time where they do that shit. You see people like bitching on social media about it, polite, but it's like okay, but you're not actually taking the time of your day to go fucking literally. Do like yeah, you're not doing like, it. Like if you're just posting on Facebook how you're poor choice, you hate all these poor lifers, but you're not doing anything about it. Yeah. Like you're not helping the cause at all. Really. <laughs> no, like, like really. Like, it, if anything, it's just like you're trying to get attention. That's the way I see it. Yeah, and like now, that might not always the like you're probably probably right honestly like that might not always be the case like i hope it's not always but yeah and that's just an example here. the whole point is that like i have a lot of respect to people that actually take the time to go out there to like and put in effort and energy to fix something that they believe is wrong yeah. or whatever that it or is just something to help even if it's, it's like, just like fucking feeding homeless people like volunteering like you want like being one of the cafeteria people at one yeah. of the shelters like there's tons of that yeah no there's plenty of things to do and a lot of times it doesn't like the yeah for me it was like it was really it's really easy to do it was just the process of getting in took a bit like and then once yeah. i got in then it was it's just like doing like, it the first time yeah that's what it is like it, it took, it took like it took like, a, it took like a took like over a month or two to like actually get in and do my first shift and then after that it's like now i'd be fun to you to play with all the freaking animals <laughs> yeah i mean like yeah. that's yeah it's that's, cool yeah. Like, yeah you get to you josh does it to see play with all the cats i mean like really <laughs> I, I love seeing the animals and shit but a lot of it too like ha like more than ha like a lot of it is too is like i'm just washing dishes like doing laundry like yeah. whatever i can to help like the the, the actual vets oh, yeah. like the people who are like do, actually like, doing shit i forgot they do know? that kind of shit yeah because there's places. people that like actually work there and like you know that they do stuff like they take care of the animals like whether mm. they're sick or not like i'm not qualified to do so it's like i you know i do all the shit anything that helps them like sometimes it could be For like sure. something like hey walk you know just make their life dog, easier. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah yeah but like you know i do all like the the menial tasks that like they don't have that much time for you know i mean like if someone if a volunteer is not there i guess they have to do it but i should like, find something to do it's like it's that. great i yeah, yeah. I, I like it i've I'm never gonna, done i've never done like a vault i had to volunteer for like you know probation but that doesn't count yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah i've had to do sts yeah <laughs> well, that's, like that's yeah like not not too many people want to go and like pick up trash on the side of the highway yeah. i would do that if it's like the ones where people like a lot of people that go and they pick up trash in the ocean i would do that shit all day like not, uh, save like, the turtles dude, dude yeah. i mean well that and it's like i fucking love the ocean yeah, so not like, enough people fucking... put it, put anything back into their community the local community here it's, yeah 
And I'm calling myself out too when I say <laughs> that. Like I haven't fucking volunteered for shit. I mean, un- until yeah, I never did unless it was that. Aside from like yeah, like I haven't yeah, except for like volunteering at the humane study. I <laughs> we should do did. a fucking uh, like, yeah. I never did anything to like actually help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, no same. Yeah, we I mean, should I do recycle, like a fundraiser <laughs> show, dude. That's yeah. well, that's what I mean. Like that that's, would be cool. I, that's why I can't wait till the day to where it's like you know. Um, like I make a decent amount of money per show, so then I can like just because I won't care because I'll be like whatever, like take my take for one, yeah, sh- yeah for one, it. like whatever, like do a hometown show and it's be like you know whatever, even like say with like Skyway or some other fucking venue and be like yeah, you you guys can even make all your money. I'll just like right. not, I will like spend money just to like if I have to pay your bartenders and like whatever, I won't care because at that point like I'll have I'll be comfortable, you know what I mean? And it's like I'm why like yeah. you know is I there I that much that. money to be made in toy though? Dude, there's, like I feel yeah, like there's man. probably more money like making like there's that doing the live streams like getting views on like Spotify or like so I listen on Spotify, YouTube or anything. Like I feel like toy is one of the least. It's I feel like that you you probably money. make I feel like that's where like most of the money comes from like merch and touring. I feel like obviously like everything it does because like streaming. You don't make that much um but it all kind of adds up and, it, and yeah. it's like and there's honestly there's uh, if you do it right or if you know you keep working at it and keep you know uh because it's basically it's just like with any other business uh the way to keep growing is just keep digging your fingers into like something else whether it's like so how like, do you guys feel about the venue sick and merch cut I mean, I if they, it. like, I saw that shit with the armory, like, yeah, dude, but they dude, staffed the whole thing. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, what do you... The falling reverse, that dude, yeah, that dude went fucking off Yeah, I think he's it. just like, being shit. a turd. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? They I should see, if they staff you know, it. I don't admit it, like, yeah, 25%, yeah, that sounds high, but, like, okay, you're staffing, they're paying everyone who's handing out the merch in the first place. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like that, that is understandable. You like, know what I mean? You're like, still making yeah. money from it, right? Like, Exactly. You know, yeah, like, fuck it. Is, you're yeah, still making money I, for it, and like I'm sure that's probably in contract. Fucking who? The day they signed it. Yeah, I know. Like that, you know, apparently like apparently <laughs> that dude, he like does that kind of shit a lot. Oh, yeah, you well, know what I, mean? I guess he's canceled like the past few shows. Like really? I was reading, like in Minnesota. Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn. He's wow. probably just trouble. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I didn't even yeah I didn't even know that. Or I never I heard about know. that. But I don't. But even know, before yeah. that happened, like with the army dude, like I saw like Live Nation. They're like, oh, we're not gonna take artists, you know, merch cut. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah. Live they did Nation. like a, it's a stipend because like they. I mean, dude, they make so much money where it's like they, they have a monopoly give, on everything. Yeah, dude. They, do. they should give back a little bit to yeah, the artists because yeah. like at the end of the day, who are they without right. it? Yeah. You know, so yeah, and people don't realize you like, dude, have. Only like an event center's got to be one of the viscous fucking business oh, yeah. adventures you can go on. I imagine dude, if sure. you're not a giant like Live Nation is, dude, you it's got hard. you got to take some money for merch, dude. I feel like I, I feel, well, like yeah, I mean, you got to be able to stay in business, right? And that's yeah. like the thing is like I uh, it's actually been a problem lately. Well, I will, so I've heard. I didn't. I don't know personally, but um, that like a lot of promoters or like venues, they're just not making as much money because I yeah. think a lot of artists are like charging too Way much. Way too much. Yeah, or something like that. <laughs> I don't that. think people like, are going out as much either. We're well, like drinking as much. Well, because like also too, like a lot of people just aren't like promoting their shows because every time that we throw a that's show or play a show, is, yeah, like honestly. we seem to have no problem with getting like anytime that. We we have a show somewhere like yeah. we have no how many tickets did you sell for that bitch there was like a lot well, dude they, i, I saw that we don't know the exact amount but like even the the promotion manager was like yo like this is a good turnout he's like you yeah know? he's like, well they said that was the best turnout that they've had like pre like day before christmas kind of thing like because they I, apparently they do that all the time and like they're like this is the best one we've had and yeah. it was like you know it was my the threads first headlining show at skyway theater and like I mean the fucking That's uh, big dude That's yeah. a big milestone dude Congratulations no, Thank you like, And like it was crazy to see Like all of a sudden One day we go to the website And they're like oh, uh, The pre-sales uh, sold out Or whatever yeah, You know like, like it was 250 And they <laughs> yeah. sold out And it was like That's a lot alone oh, Right there yeah, pre-sales crazy. Yeah it was crazy And like Yeah It was, was fucking dope But dude I mean even like the first time Josh headlined in Illinois, we sold 176 tickets. So, like, yeah. that's fucking... In, in a state that I've like never played that's before. Crazy. Where I, what, 20 bucks a piece? You don't mind? 15, I, yeah, 20? Something like something that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's like, and it's I'm not and at the, you know, I'm not that expensive. But we you just do that. That. We put, like, <laughs> like, the way we see it is, like, if we're going to go play a show, like, we're going to do our best to, like, promote it. Because at the end of the day, it looks makes us look good, but it makes them look good, yeah. too. Yep. And, like, we put ads in the area and shit, and most people don't do that. Yeah, which is wild, because it's... It's like the whole yeah because like for i mean we we're not doing it because promoters are struggling to make money or venues are struggling to make money we just do it because 
we want them to make money because yeah, you know? yeah. like, we we want them to make money so they want then us they to like come that back. exactly like, people don't understand <laughs> and, that like if you play a show at a venue and like everyone's drinking spending a fuck ton of money people be like yo we want thread to come yeah. back yes like and as like, a bartender i'd be like bad you're like dude you gotta bring that guy back yeah here. Dude, like, like that's what i, I feel like that's what everybody should be trying to do <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean because then they fucking love you then everyone's like, happy come back dude. please yeah. like fuck. But, but apparently people like don't do that which doesn't make any sense yeah so it's like even the promoters that like jake talks to he was like it was like we we got you know one of the there's like a festival in illinois that will be playing this uh summer with like apparently we're trying to get the whole build different crew on there which it seems like that's happening but it's my like jake got the highest booking fee that i've ever had from it you know what i mean and like the people like they're they're apparently gonna pay it and it's like but we but we you know jake even assured them which i fully it's like worth it yeah it's like yeah because it's like dude we will get people there because we're gonna promote the fuck out of it and it's like they're obviously going to because they're gonna want to but like yeah we we've been successful with it and we're gonna be successful with it in the future like it's we only get better at promoting every show you know what i mean like it's like every show so far every show just continuously gets like more and more popular yeah so it's like (laughs) <laughs> you know what i mean like Learn we, what want, works. we want them to make money just as much as we want to make money dude at the end of the day like music it's just a huge business yeah. like you yeah. gotta fucking get put in as much as you take out yeah. like and that's what will make the music industry yeah. great the more the more that we put in and the better that we make this show the more fun that the more money they're gonna make that means they're gonna have fun the the staff's gonna they're gonna be able to like be better staff so the staff's gonna have fun yep. like the, the showgoers are gonna enjoy because there's gonna be a bunch a of people mood. there yeah, yeah. like and it's just have a good mood like just make a good mood make it a good time and then, like that's it's really that simple but people just don't do it. Yeah. Because, I mean, you don't have to. That, that, that's that's why we're built different, no. dude. I mean, it's, yeah. A, yeah. it's a, yeah. I, I need mean, some geez. built different merch, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, I, I, mean, need, yeah. I literally just texted. Uh, we got Threads merch store coming soon, and then I just texted the same guy that built it for yeah. us, and I'm going to get it going. Yeah, the oh, store. Yeah, dude. Because I, 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 I just want some, too. The store's done, too. Like, the Thread store is done. We just haven't announced I it I didn't yet. be in the gym, sh- dude, fucking curling some weights. Built, built different? Built, <laughs> built different, hey. dude. That'd be a flex, dude. It would be. When we get merch, I'll just give you a shirt, bro. Damn. Well, that's the thing. That's like a brand that, like, people would just rep even though they don't even know what the fuck it is. It is. You know what I mean? Like, totally. Like I never thought about it like that. Yeah, dude. Like people, people will rep the build different uh, logo and like just add, just with yeah, cause that's kind of that's like how we want to have it. Like you know, almost be like have like a different variety of stuff. Like for instance, like Josh's store, we got like booty shorts for women, like sports bras, like to like cater to women too. Yeah. Like we, we want it to be like so. To there's a little bit for everybody. You know what I mean? Like anything fucking cat bowls maybe eventually yeah, like yeah. who knows no exactly like yeah. whatever, whatever i definitely i definitely want some i Get want like a bowls. thread some sort of thread like scratch ball you can dude, dude, fucking yeah. totally dude. i want one i think you do you have like of all the artists that like i've talked to like over the years here like i i honestly mean this when i said you have like the best brand i believe Sweet. it and i feel like that, <laughs> and i feel like you sh- i feel like that's what a lot of people struggle with they're constantly rebanding trying to fucking figure it out like, what's some advice you can give to people who are like still haven't figured out their brand yet <laughs> you know what's really tough about that it's like i mean like yeah no it's super important brand is super important uh so like the, uh, there'd be a few th- so for me personally it's no lie like I, I, another reason why like i i really know that this is all in my heart and soul is that like a lot of this shit has been like it it all works together like seamlessly pun intended um and also <laughs> and it was all by accident like thread was made by accident thread like uh, like um like even how it works with everything when it comes to like my style of music the sound design how it's like all of it has been just like it just fell together perfectly not even trying but like if i would give people some like advice on like ways to like make a brand that's you know likable i guess is like um one thing is is that it's good to have like how thread is is that when you look at it it's creepy and cute at the same time so it's not too far one way or the other if you have a logo that's just like super like like death inspired and like like sudden death yeah which like demonic it's very limited yeah Yeah, it is it is that shit's cool but like not everyone's gonna buy it yeah Yeah. right right no but like that's like a lenium dude like everyone dude he has more merch than fucking anyone actually yeah that's because like anyone can like buy his clothes and like appreciate that style yeah exactly 
because like, I feel the, like threads like that too, though. So yeah, because we're yeah. you thread, can kind of do anyone can wear anything. A thread. Well, like that, and like with a with a brand that, like, say, like Sudden Death. Like, obviously, his works. He's a huge artist, but like a lot of people also do the same thing that he does, and theirs don't work. Yeah, and I, and I, demonic. Yeah, and, and I think it's just because upside down crosses. And it, shit. It, I think it's just because it leans too far one side. Because with thread, it's like it's creepy and cute, so it keeps you interested. Because you're mm. like. What is I don't that know how I feel thing? about this. You know, <laughs> it's like it, he, I, there's something about this guy that I don't, you know, I don't fully trust, but I'm very interested. You yeah, know what dude, I mean? Like, I swear to God, like, uh, <laughs> this was a while ago now. I was wearing a thread shirt at like a fucking Carbonis or something. Yeah. Dude, and like the waitress was like, oh, what's that guy on your shirt? <laughs> dude, the I was just like, oh, my, I was like, my friend's like a music producer. Like, this is thread, like his logo. She's like, Oh, it's cute. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Dude, the, like, the o, especially the OG. Yeah, the OG guy, one. Like, yeah. He is kind of cute. Yeah, dude. he's adorable. Now, dude, it's like I don't know. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just thought like she didn't even know. You know what I mean? I'm just like I can't caught me off guard. I was like, oh, it's fine. That's yeah. another good thing too, because like people are like, what is that? Dude? And then, and then they, they go look. It too. Yeah, yeah, that they're too. They're like, oh, it if is they super see memorable. That image again, they're like, oh, I remember that guy. It right. it is really memorable because like that and like whether it's that's the thing with it too. Like I was saying before, even how it was like all by accident is that like. From the brand to the music, like it's all memorable. Cause like you listen to a thread track and it's like, that's something I've never heard before. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's just so different. It's like, it's, it's really like left field, but not too far to where like you, it just doesn't like comprehend in your head. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, it makes sense, but it doesn't. And it like sounds weird, but it doesn't. Like, I don't know. It's really weird. It's just kind of like it's fucking thread. It's fucking yeah. thread. Yeah, dude. Even Jake earlier earlier was asking, like, what genre of music when we we're posting a reel? He's like, what genre of music this is? And I'm like, thread. I don't know, thread. Like, yeah, because I don't know. A lot of the times, time. Josh will like mix genres too, which yeah. a lot of people don't do. That. Yeah, yeah, dude. Some of the songs I've been making lately are like super, like it's just like I don't even know what it is, but it's like it's just different. It's <laughs> fucking yeah. fire. It's cool though. It like I'm definitely enjoying it. It's just <laughs> wild because sure. it's like you weird. shouldn't have to limit yourself to a genre. No, you either. never. Whether it's music or podcasting, like anything, you shouldn't. You should you love yeah do what do what you yep. want yeah think outside of the box man think yeah, outside i think because i feel like once you start like feeling like okay i say if you get really good at making dubstep but then you want to start creating house music but you feel like you've had so much success with dubstep already you feel like you can't leave but it's like your music's probably going to get worse so far because then you're just hard not in it anymore yep. No, and uh, I even it was like a lot of like whether it was music or not, like a lot of people say the same thing that they're like, you got to really follow your heart. So it's like if you don't like if you just stop like liking the genre, you don't want it's not necessarily you anymore. You got to get out of it because otherwise you're just going to fail eventually. Even if you stay successful, like you're you're either going to fail because like you just don't care anymore or. Like you just, yeah, or you're, or you'll just quit because right. you, you know, like you'll either start making music that just isn't really from your heart or like making a product that isn't, or you'll just quit because you're like, fuck this. I don't even like it anymore. I'm At not the even end happy. of the day too, it's like, you know, if you just stick to what you love, like you got to think like electronic music, dude, it, it doesn't even have a language, you know what no, I mean? It's it so doesn't. like huge. And like, if you just stick to what you love and like what you believe in, it's going to resonate to the right people. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Like someone, if you build it, they will come. That's yep. what fucking so, Joey. Yeah, Jet, one of the to like said. vocal music. Cause I know like, like, yeah, like making more songs that actually have, you know, like full verses, choruses. Have you got more into that lately at all? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, there's like some, there's definitely some new stuff, uh, that definitely is, um, a lot of, I plan on dropping an EP like this. It'll be like, I don't know spring or closer to summer but that one will have like most of them will have like full like verses and everything in it so i nice. do have a lot I'm of excited them. to hear that yeah. yeah i think that's my favorite that's turned into my favorite type of edm music I, over the years the ones that actually have like lyrics i like can, the cheesy no i can I like definitely agree with that no yeah. i love that shit too like especially like dude like growing up dude like Betty Benassi satisfaction. Yeah. Just, when they just say the same thing over and over again. I it's, love that shit too. Don't no, get me dude, wrong. No, but, <laughs> yeah. But it, it is one of those things. Like also too, if you look at all the popular songs and like electronic music, all the ones that like do super well, most of them, probably like 90% of them are all ones that have like good vocals in them. Cause I like feel like really everyone can listen to that. Yep. Like not everyone can do excision. Yeah, not right. everyone can do sudden no, death. It's more versatile. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cause even if like the drops weird, it's like, you know, some people still like fuck with else. Uh, there'll be plenty of, I've, seen plenty of times already to where they'll be like say like older people who are like were a staff at like a venue or something and i'll play like some of the my remixes or whatever like where i do like journey and i remix like <laughs> yeah. separate ways and then it's got like a thread drop which oh, is really weird and like one. liquidy Yo, i fucking and love but separate they, ways but they still, i bet that shit goes hard dude, and actually. it's fucking and it's like <laughs> his remixes are so good. yeah and like with that and i'll see people who are like 
they'll even tell me they're like i you made me like that like i <laughs> yeah. didn't they're like i normally don't like that but that was cool like and it was just because it's like because even that like the drop might be like really weird in electronic especially when it's like thread weird but right. like since it was like it had the vocals and everything else building yeah. up to it it's just like that's what it is with it like yeah, yeah exactly that's what it is with like a lot of the music is that like it's it's not like a lot of people in like dubstep, they're just like focusing on just the drop. Like, I just need a good ass drop. And it's like, you need yeah. a good song. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know. Like, it's got to be good start to finish. If it's not good start to finish, then it's like, you're just, it's just a DJ tool, which is fine. Like, I have those songs. I have plenty of songs where it's like, there's not that much to like the beginning and it's just a cool drop. But it's like, that's not like, that's not. But that's it. Though. Yeah. Like, that's not, that's yeah. not like going to be like a hit song. That's just one that I play at a show or something. Or it's just, just like, like a drop. festival bag. Yeah. Like, literally. That, but then, like, like, every DJ plays it in the set and then it's like, you hate it. Yeah. Like, after, like, a few months, dude, because dude. you fucking hear it like 50 times. Dude, there'll be shows I'm working at the army, dude. They'll, play, they'll all play the same fucking yeah. song. She's like, didn't you guys talk to each other before? Yeah, I, I don't know. know. Right? No, dude, that that's funny. <laughs> dude, when I, when I played Thread... That happens all the time. When yeah. I played Threadmiss, the two, the, the two like managers at Skyway, they told me they're like, we want more of that because it was like, they're like, that was so like new and fresh and unique. And it's like, and they literally said the same thing. They're like, normally there's a show and everybody plays the same yeah. X amount of songs all the time. You hear the same thing. Like if you come to a Thread show, like... You're gonna pro- probably like ninety five percent of the songs yeah. you unless you've like been to one of my shows or listened to my music like you haven't heard it before right. or no one else is playing it because too many people do what they know works yeah and that's the problem. I think I might have even problem. talked about it with you like a couple years ago when you first came on here, dude. Like so many DJs, they get up there and like they're scared to try something new. They're like, I know this drop gets people fucking going yeah so i'm gonna play it but then that's nothing memorable about you well after you do that no one's gonna remember your set if you're playing the same shit as everyone else yeah because it's like Like, you you can turn around and like you not and not like look at the dj and you're like i i don't know who this is you know i don't know like that's a problem with me like i love it when i listen to like a seven right the army like one of the openers i'm like fuck i gotta remember this dude yeah because it was good do you see levity's set uh what show is that? They played support for somebody, but like they were one of those people where it was a opener. I was like, dude, their set was probably my favorite set yeah, the whole night. Yeah, throw it down. It was sick. Dude, I can't remember what show that was. Yeah, and that's just what happens, man. And it's like one of those things. Yeah, because a lot of people are too. They're too afraid to like be different and take risks, and yep. like because they they want everyone uh they want to please everyone it's like that saying that's like a good dj doesn't play the songs that you want to hear a, D- a good dj plays the songs that you didn't know that you wanted to hear yep. you know what i mean yeah. like yep. the, that's a good one yeah I like so that. It's, yeah so it's like they they play they play the shit that it's like damn like i never heard this song and they're like shazam and yeah. all this stuff like because it's like that's and then you're at one. home fucking just dig it online <laughs> for it that's, <laughs> yeah, that's when you know it's a good before. set is and when he's got like, so many unreleased songs too that it's like that's you true. You can filter through them every show. Yeah. And people are like, what the fuck is this? But I, I stopped releasing a bunch of them because of that, because then it'd be like, so then when you come to a thread set that, at, so then at least 25 to like 30% of it is music that you've never heard before. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it's just like, so it's like, and no, like no one's heard before unless they were at like a, a show in a different state some other time. Because a lot of times by the time I play again in a different state, I just recycle the music or I have new stuff. Cause right. you know, you only play in there like once or twice a year. So then it's, Dude pushes out music faster than like anybody I've ever seen. Just shit like, it out, literally. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> it, it's it's honestly <laughs> insane. Like uh, there was one time it was like uh, I came over. He showed me this track. I was like, "Yo, this is fucking sick." And he's like, "Yeah, I just made it like, in like two hours." I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, my last release, Madness, was like my fastest track ever made, and it was probably under two hours. It's fucking I made the nuts, song, dude. and it's like, and it's so far, it's doing super good. Like I've gotten so many like messages from it and everything. Like I love this it's fucking. At, song. It's at like a hundred. It's been out for like two weeks, and a hundred people downloaded it nice. already. Yeah, it's doing really good. Yeah, it's doing good for sure. Especially for yeah. I mean, it's it's new. It's like only been a week. You know, two. It's been two weeks. Ten. Ten days. Probably. It has been ten days. Yeah. So like, or, uh, yeah, so a little, little under, a little under. Matt. That's crazy, dude. People probably fucking. With some people, it takes months for them just to create one song. Yeah, well, it did. Even. It used that's to. Like, I would say that's like normal. You must have yeah. gotten pretty damn good with the software too. You're using hotkeys and shit. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. It's like my my that ex. Ma- that matters. It does. Oh, it like, definitely matters. It definitely matters. My like ex when uh she like she dated other music producers and then when she saw me make music she's like I if I didn't know you I'd assume you're on meth like <laughs> just because. <laughs> like how quickly i'm like going on it. And i was just like i don't know it's just from years of doing it because like there was definitely it was definitely like not even 
like a few years ago, I'd probably be like the same thing to where like it would take, you know, I wouldn't be making tracks as quick as I do now. So a lot of times right. it's like I can, you know, if I, if it's good and it flows well, like it's just that day, like the song's done yeah. and it's start finishing. Like, the software is the instrument you're playing. That's what you're it, an EDM yes. producer, dude. Just mm-hmm. like when you're learning to play a guitar, dude, you got to learn the fucking software. It's literally it's like, put in so many hours. Like we were just talking about this on the way here. Like it, it like when you know like actually how much time he's like put into this like it makes sense why he's getting so good like yeah. Yeah. hours man That's what it, a yeah. lot yeah it's like you put in that I'm proud. They, they always say that they put in like you put in that 10,000 hours or whatever and then that's what like that's what you you know that makes a bit difference it's the same with everything though like, yeah. whatever you're doing cooking, yeah. podcast fucking bacon i don't know wait <laughs> i don't know like whatever you put in the hours and like you're gonna get good yeah right? yep. you're get, you know and that's what it is it's like a if lot of people with you everything they, change your methods <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well like with uh it's like that with everything a lot of people they fail because like they fail when they're like they're already they're close or they're like that's they give up and like on whatever it is on whatever dream that they're trying to do and that's yeah. the reason why they i think fail. It's just like, people don't get the results they want no which is definitely I think that's just, very, which is fair especially when you get like to an older aged life and say you have a kid you have family and shit it's like okay how much time can i really commit to this it's music hard. shit it's you know what i mean when hard. like when you actually get to the point where you're older like you have other people depending on you like yeah. it, it's super hard with like anything like there's plenty there's been countless times where both of us wanted to quit. yeah yeah so many times oh, dude, i've quit like i was you i've quit podcasting before i've taken little breaks but then i always find myself getting back yeah, on it which, that's the the thing, though. People, like, just get like, back to it you me know? and josh used to like sync up yeah. it was so funny it was really <laughs> like weird, we, we would be going through it and i'd hit up josh and he'd be going through yeah, it too. And we'd both <laughs> like, we'd just, be like, like fuck because like dude we because like we were we were grinding and i mean we still are just grinding trying to like make this shit happen but you never see any problem yeah, yeah. it, and it can get to you very easily years. dude yeah very. And you start getting in your head you're like do i fucking suck yeah. like, that's is, what is I, it like is it meant to be and then yeah. the like, next you know day I mean? something like, happens you're like oh fuck well, like i, I have like weird bitch. like <laughs> i feel like i try to manhandle my destiny but at the same time i'm kind of like oh if it's meant to be it's meant to be yeah you know but it's I, a little bit yeah. of both yeah. like, it definitely is a little of both like you know you gotta just you just gotta put in work and you gotta like with this stuff especially like you gotta be willing to like fail you yeah. know because no, nothing's dude, guaranteed and it could take you know years I mean? dude some people i feel yeah, like I mean, probably everything yeah i feel like there's probably some people that don't get any make any money or any recognition for fucking a decade yeah. maybe even longer dude. and then maybe like what they're like 45 dude. and shit all of a sudden for whatever reason yeah. they just blow up that's not even music but like youtube channels dude. and shit too i've seen like, that's what happens even with, podcasts josh was telling yeah. me about dude, this dude uh what is it like one of the ones that i love to use an example is a uh, burt kreischer but he's yeah. a the yeah. comedian he he will even say that it took him it took him 20 years to like blow up and like be full time like a uh, comedian. And yeah. he even saw all of his friends like Tom Segura and everything like they were blowing up like right next to him. They've known each other for yeah. like ever. And Starting then, like after him blowing up before. Exactly. Him. Yeah. And, and it wasn't even like, oh, yeah, he blew up in the next year I did. It was like a decade right. in between like <laughs> yeah. Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer. And he and but he'll even say, I'm glad it took me 20 years because he's right. like, I wasn't ready until then. It's like and it's that whole thing. It's it's not the destination. The destination or the journey is the destination. That's okay. what it is. Like it, it's it's kind of wild. It's like even like a lot of podcasters that I watch. Um, a lot of them are just like they'll be random, like super successful people in all different aspects. Of like it might not even be podcasting, but like all of them will kind of say the same thing. Is like they obviously like enjoy their success and everything like that, but they almost wish that they could go back to the journey because yeah. that was the best part. The best part right. was them getting there. Like it was, it was getting to that point of like this, yeah. like Going massive through, success. Getting gritty, dude. That's where you're fun. really building a lot of character yeah. too. And then like, yes. the thing is you get to a point where you're so successful, right? Where it's like, say you're like, I'm a Joe Vogan level. Where it's like, you're so successful. Everyone's listening to you. Then it's like, you don't even know if you're producing good fucking content yeah, yeah. cuz you could just take a shit and you're going to get 50 <laughs> and you're going to get no you're going to get millions of views because yeah. cuz you already did the process so but when you get there it's like oh, am I actually producing good content now still Dude. or does everyone just love whatever I do yep. no matter what like that's what that's what it is and you got to like not let that shit get to you cuz like certain people did it was like you know like I don't know. Like, I know, I feel like that's what happened. Like Kanye West, his head got big and then he just like, he started Huge. making garbage, then, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's like, you know, people, but also too, like, I he, like some songs on this duo sound. Yeah. Oh, I haven't well, listened to any I fuck with stuff, Kanye's so. Don't, music. Yeah. Was it Donda? Is that this newest one? I don't know. So? I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard like his newest stuff, but like yeah. I do fuck with him as an artist. I fucked with like his old his old old stuff. Yeah. But. No, there's no new uh, 
one of us do have some donda, I think it's called. But I don't know. There's just one bang. It's like super ignorant and stupid, but I love it. Like, it's just one of those rap tracks where, like, they're just saying, and the beat goes super hard, and they say some very ignorant shit that gets you going. Yeah. Like, oh. that, dude, that's like me and 6 9 Like, everybody hates on 6 9 but, dude, his music fucking juices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just fucking, just gets you ready. and just It fucking, does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but that's, yeah, I guess that's like, that's like wild with like success. But people like uh, Joe Rogan, that dude, like he, like a lot of people talk a bunch of shit about him because, you know, a lot of his shit's controversial, I guess, but that's like good. But also too, like he puts on so many people like that dude, he like, he, you know, he likes someone. So then he just like throws them on his podcast. And then like all of a sudden, like this person just gets like in front of millions of people. And then like, well, the ability to step in someone else's world like that, like yeah. you're talking to fucking a comedian one day and then you're talking to some doctor Dude. and then you're talking to some like geologist. Exactly. And able to like actually have like a good, like in-depth conversation, like understand the terminology that they're using, things that they're talking about. Dude, like it's really impressive. No, because I, I bet you he puts in hours and hours of uh, just studying. Yeah, before. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Really smart. He's got it. Like you kind of got it. Like you got that alpha brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried that? Oh, I got some at home. Really? Uh, yeah. Is it worth it? Uh, I felt like it was good at first. So I actually got it for my day job. Like, cause I like, I do computer programming. So I kind of want like something other than caffeine to put me on through the after- afternoon. I feel like it helps. It's sh- shit's expensive though. Yeah. I definitely feel like I kind of got a tolerance to it. Well, like when I first started taking it, I was like, damn dude, this shit's getting me going. I, like I'm, I, like I, I'm feeling this, you know? And then like the more I took it, the less like effective it was, I felt like. Huh? Yeah, because I've always. Seen, but I, I follow, try it though. Like I, I buy it again. Instagram and shit. Yeah, I, I've always thought about buying this. Maybe stuff. it's like one of those things you just don't use it like every day. You know what I mean? Right. Like you kind of just only like, use yeah. it when you need it. Yeah, that's why I, I do feel it. that yeah. about pre workout. Yeah. Like yeah. I used to be really fucking addicted to pre workout, like two scoops a day every day, like no matter what. If I'm going to gym, taking pre workout. Yeah. Then I quit that shit for a long time. Now I saw t- I I bought some again recently on Black Friday, but I only need like say if I'm really tired in the morning, like all right, I'm gonna take this. Shit. Yeah. I'm gonna take some. Yeah, because you get used motivation. to it, then you like depend on that. Shit. Yeah. yeah, so it's not good. And it, and it actually it starts to make you like not like your workouts as much either because no. like you need that extra like stimulation to right. like to like actually to get it. going. Yeah, it's it is it's probably like the same with that other stuff. Um, but yeah. You just maybe do it every once in a while. I don't know. I've never tried it. I, I've never yeah. even heard try it. Try some Alpha Bait. I alpha, bet you'd alpha, like it. I'm probably. Gonna, I like, yeah. I'm gonna, I like I'll a lot. I'll try it eventually. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring, <laughs> next podcast we do, I'll, I'll bring some for us. Yeah. And, what yeah is no, because I got like. Just I take got, some before. Well, I got the. There's like pill form that takes a while, but I got like a liquid packet too. Okay. That's like, that's pretty much instant where you just like put it in a water bottle and shake it up. Okay. Like, oh. You feel that shit right away. That's perfect. Doing that stuff. What is it? Just like a bunch of vitamins? It's like, but it's like a mushroom supplement. Actually. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty See? sure it's like a mushroom supplement. It has a bunch of other stuff in it. There's zero caffeine in it. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, see, that's I want to get away from caffeine, like energy drinks and shit, because yeah. like it's just not good for Especially you. Especially the energy drinks. But I, I like, do yeah. like having like something to give you a little boost, like coffee. Coffee's cool. Yeah, I mean, me I feel too. like coffee. I'm addicted not that to bad. coffee. Like I'm like I'm fuck. I'm at the point I wake up in the morning, dude. I start my cup of coffee, then I go take a shower. Yeah, you yeah, gotta have like, it. Yeah, you, you gotta. gotta. <laughs> No, I mean, I do that with like uh, with like five hour energies or like they're like knockoff ones. So it's, it's basically just a, bu- a bunch of vitamin B12. I get cheap ones from like Walmart because you can get like a pack of six yeah. of them for like four. Dude, bucks. My brother in law is addicted to those fucking things. Yeah, five like, hour energies. No, I swear to God. He said he got hooked on them in college. Dude. Oh, man. Like he'll like, take them to just dudes, like drink more. Yeah. He's an animal. Yeah. Just like fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, like, crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> like, like I've never I seen done. anyone knock back more five hour energies than <laughs> my brother in law. I swear to God. <laughs> It's like this is wild. He's in five hours as chaser. Yeah, <laughs> oh, gross. They'll fireball in a five hour dude. Oh, oh. God, that, that sounds. Hurts. Yeah, that well. sounds painful. All right, boys. Well, it's getting a little late here. I think that that's pretty good. But let's. Any last words or things that you want to say? You know, I don't want to cut you guys off here too soon. We covered a lot of stuff, but there's. I feel oh. like I could talk to you guys for hours more about anything. I so. guess for anybody that's like watching this, like. If you're trying to achieve something, stay patient and like stay true to you, man. Fuck everybody else. Seriously. Literally. Yeah. No, and like, yeah, I don't know. I guess like, Do what you I, love, I, I guess it's, it's, it's kind of related to it, but like, it was just the first thing that popped in my head to say anything last, uh, last is that, um, I guess nowadays, um, if you're trying to be successful or try and do anything, uh, you know, in your life, regardless of what it is, uh, nowadays it is 
so much easier to succeed than it is any other time in anyone's life because right now yeah. everyone is so like all your quote unquote competition is uh i guess like really lazy a lot of people don't want to like do anything anymore yep. like the the bar nowadays is set so low that it's so easy to win yeah. so like i but mean that, 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 that kind of yeah. sounds it, it sounds like kind of mean but it's, it's true, true. Yeah. so that, like yeah now now is the time you know yeah. I mean? and at like, the same time pe don't listen to anyone tell you if you're starting a podcast and want to become a musician like don't let people tell you oh there's billions of people doing that damn oh, fucking dude, right that's like my like family for, like <laughs> for one thing they, like there will always be more people consuming than producing yeah so even if there's million people just fuck million of people doing podcasts there's 10 million listening uh, to yeah them. i do yeah. like it's, yeah <laughs> There's, there's always going to be more consumers than creators. True. Fact. There's enough, that's just a fact. It really like, is. Like there's enough room for everyone. And dude, really. just start it. Like that's, that's like one of my biggest like holdups in life was like, I was too worried about that shit. Mm -hmm. So I like let it like cloud my judgment and like my true capabilities. It wasn't until I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Dove in head first. Where like, you know, same with Josh, we dove fucking head first. And that's when everything started uh, that's moving, when, like, yeah, you yeah. know? It's it's like it's like the anytime that you're like trying to succeed in like your your business or your form of business, it was one thing that I've always noticed and that I've always uh that I keep learning like almost every like week it feels like that like man, I thought I thought I was giving it my all. And then you're like not. next week I wasn't. It's like yeah. I was I felt like I wasn't I like I'm definitely not, you know. Keep, you like next month I'm be like, damn, I wasn't doing shit last week. You yeah. know Seriously. Because I mean? it's so easy to like slip out. You yeah. know, and it's okay if that happens too. Yeah. Like it definitely happens. It's okay to take breaks. I gotta tell myself that too. Like I try and have mm -hmm. like days where it's like it's I, healthy. It, it is healthy, and like there's because there's plenty of times where I just grind all the time. But I do try and at least set one day aside to where it's like no expectations. Like I don't have to like make music. I don't have to do anything. And like sometimes I still do. Just hang like, out with the cats. Yeah, literally, so, dude. That's why you know that's why I try and do every Sunday. But like Jeez. sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, thanks for having us on. Yeah, dude, thank bro. you guys. So it was fun, fun dude. <laughs> it yeah. was fucking great. I'm glad we've got to do more of these. Yeah, yeah. I would love that, dude. Maybe yeah. fucking uh, I don't know, get some of the art. Or dude, when Colossal's here, he's gonna oh, be in the United States for his okay, first dude. time. I would that would be that. sick. You guys just, you guys are welcome over anytime. Hey, yeah, like, yeah, I love you. Dude. <laughs> like, I would, like I had a good time, like <laughs> hanging out with you guys tonight too. Yeah, me too. Fun. Honestly, it's great. like an hour and 45 minutes went by pretty quick. Damn, oh, really? Was, yeah. Holy like, shit. Yeah. yeah, it didn't even feel like that. Like, I know. Yeah. I feel like we didn't even dive deep enough in some of these good topics. No, no, no we, I, could, I, we could have continued. Well, yeah. there, there's a lot of other like topics that have been cool to like, but we can always do it like another time. I'm like, exactly. we'll, like shit we'll that back. isn't related like, with music and stuff. get back, like, dude, I'm big in the alphabet, dude. Do it. You know, yeah, time. let's do it. <laughs> we'll plan a day maybe where it's like, Maybe we don't have to work in the morning just in case like that shit keeps you up at night. Oh, oh, yeah. But yeah. maybe not matter, though. Who I'm cares? Not really, I really don't mind. Yeah, I don't I'm, fucking care. I'm fine with it. Yeah. All right. Next podcast we're doing. We'll bust up. <laughs> we're not the alpha brain. <laughs> we're going to be doing lines of shit. On we're, sh <laughs> we're sniffing alpha, <laughs> alpha brain. <laughs> we got to send it to Joe Rogan. And yeah. <laughs> then he'll throw us on his podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no. Awesome. Oh, dude, I appreciate you guys again. Thank you very much. Thank and you. I choose a Doug Life. Peace. Doug Life chose me. Peace. Thank you. I like that. <laughs>